Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? Everything's well. Man, I'm such a professional, I forgot to turn off my phone. So professional. There we go. Hi, Ron. Glad to hear it. Okay. So, for those who aren't familiar with me, I'm Black Cat. I do lots of dungeon crawler and RPG content, etc. A lot of it's Path of Exile, though we've been on a little bit of a hiatus for that. We have some more Path of Exile content going out on the uh, channels, though, now, so that's good. Uh, this stream is, will be posted on at Black Cat Streams. If you haven't already subscribed to our stream VOD channel, I would highly suggest that. It's in the description. And, well, also on screen. And we have our highlights channel if you want to subscribe to that and see our cool highlights. Just posted one about the uh, man who fell from the sky the other day in Pal World. That one is pretty fun. I still don't know where he came from. So, I've learned a few things since our last stream. I've been looking into a variety of things from breeding to how to build a base in Power World. And I have learned that I have done a lot of things wrong. <laughs> Hi, Swift Peace. Welcome. So, we never seem to get raids here. Like, ever. And I've been trying to figure out why for the longest time. So I know for sure that raids are on in this world. I bear I've checked that like six times now. It's definitely a thing. Uh, for some reason, one of the most common re one of the most common reasons why raids just will not spawn though is that there's no natural path to the base. Uh, to me, it looks like there'd be a lot of natural paths, but it's also possible that the raids just don't have a path here that they know how to walk around. So they're not able to spawn this area. Because we've never once been raided. And that's really unfortunate. Because raids act... While they can be really destructive. If you can... Uh, if you can cancel them out. They actually will give you a lot of resources. So. I kind of want to move the base. For like the ability to do that. Also... We constantly have pals in our face. I want to do something to change that and maybe split our bases up a bit more so that uh, we have pals just in different locations that are not constantly on top of us, basically. Also, I learned two things about pathing for pals. First of all, pals path through the middle of uh, the squares. What that means is pals can get to here. And they can't move anymore from this point. They can't walk over here. They can't walk past or upstairs. They can't walk over to here to work on things. Because you cannot work on assembly lines from the end. Pals have to work on them from exactly this point and this point alone. Wherever it says the no items in queue thing, that's, or like power, where it says the power, that's exactly where they work on it from. No one can access these and help me with them, is what I've learned. So, this house kind of fails to do what I need to do. Which is a huge problem, because we really do need pals to help us with things like this. And also, it would be a good idea to finally have uh, a metal house, because we can get a uh, metal foundations... There they are. Uh, we just need four tech points, and then we'll be able to actually use metal. It only costs one ingot per foundation or wall or whatever, so it's actually not all that bad. And 
I am hoping to uh, look into how to do as well. So I want to move the base. I want to restructure the base. I want to rebuild the house. I'm doing good, Swift Peace. Starting the stream a little bit tired, but I mean, I tend to uh, heat up over time with the with the streams. They energize me because I like hanging out with you all. Yeah. Anything interesting happen in anyone's lives lately? That they want to share? Any personal accomplishments? Anything they've done in Power World or otherwise? Oh. Well, that's interesting. With Yormontide and Astagon, we managed to get Lord of the Sea onto Beacon. Which is the thing that increases, uh... Water type attacks. That's weird. So many beacons. Ooh, serious. That's good for work speed. I also learned a lot about breeding. I'm going to put that to use as well. Four sect. Converted Ash. And Lizby. Yeah. Okay, so we need an actual place to move our base to. At some point soon. Also, we don't need all of these, uh... All of the, uh, incubators here anymore. We had an excess of incubators because we had an excess of eggs to go through. Mine foreman and logging foreman on the array. Interesting. That's not what I meant to do. I was gonna say what I did over the weekend, but I genuinely can't remember. What the fuck do I even do with my life? <laughs> I swear, I just don't do anything with my time. Besides, like, make content and play video games and do, like, other work-related things and, you know, just, like, the basic shit in life. Okay. Let's dump some of the stuff. I know I definitely spent a lot of yesterday playing Pal World. That is very true. <laughs> It's such a good game, it's so hard to not just play it a ton. <laughs> uh... You can have three bases in this game. I don't like having all three bases, like permanent bases, I like having one of them to be an outpost. So I don't really want to, like, use up my third base. I ideally want to be able to somehow manage everything I need with my my first two bases and then move the third one around for resources and stuff. Just not sure where the best spot to put anything is. Hmm. We should go over to the frozen area, see if there's any place around there that we want to settle down. Because if we can settle down in a place that has coal, metal, and pure, pure quartz, that would be really nice.
I think we should go exploring. Go look at the places we have around the world here. Okay. We are going to go exploring and we are going to go look for some base locations. Because I ideally would like to be raided at some point so that I can steal all the resources. And it would be good to have a base in a place that's a little bit higher level than where we are because we're in the, like a level 15 to 25 area and we're past that point where we need to be in like level 40 area now. Yeah, it's no base. No base. It's kind of where we need to be. What do we have in our party? A lot of people. Oh yeah, we have like we have the real Anubis. I forgot. So not a uh, not a bred one. Like this one's natural, which means it has Earth Emperor. Oh, Blaze Howl, which are leveling. Who else are we working with? We could finish leveling our Astagon. That'd be a good idea. Dark, electric, ground, dragon, grass, water, ice. We're missing fire. And I could just keep bringing the Blaze Owl with us. I'll bring the place out with us. Why not? Okay. Snow base. We're also going to be getting into breeding this episode. Like a lot more so than we have been. Oh, you survived. These guys are really good XP, as you can see, like, 11,000, 14,000. <laughs> Very good XP. So these must be what they consider natural paths. For actually being raided ever. Of course, I don't want to be, like, vulnerable to raids. I just want them to come near near enough to me that I can murder them. Hmm. I really do want to be in a location, though, that has things that benefit me besides just... So that's just metal stuff, because, like, I technically can get metal elsewhere. One thing that I really would like to be near is dungeons. Like, low 45 dungeon here, for example. How big would a Lucky Memorist be? A Lucky Memorist would be about the same size as... Uh, are we yet? Yeah, we're near... back to the dungeon. Lucky Memoris would be the exact same size as the boss. And bosses and Lucky are the same size. So this is the this is like the full boss size. So way the fuck bigger than me. I don't even reach his mouth. It's so big. Oh, hello. I wonder where the meow was coming from. Okay. Can you do extra damage from behind? I don't know if that's a thing. Fire 
Oh. Right, please dismount. Thank you. I wanted to get two fireballs down. Please come over here, Blaze Howl. Blaze Howl's ignoring me. Why are you ignoring me? Okay. Ignis Rage, which would be really good against large targets. Yeah. And Blaze Howl's big. This is, isn't even a boss. Like, this is just like a red one. So it's like normal size. Nope. Please. Oh god, there's a stone. If there's something interactable nearby, you can't dismount. It's a bug that we have right now. It's really, really annoying. Nope. I'm gonna try to capture this. Now that it's low. Give me another one. Yay! That memorized. 25,000, 45,000-ish. I don't know why different pals get different XP amounts. It's so confusing to me. It's like, like, it feels like that different levels they get different XP. Uh... What was that? Nope, that doesn't work. Huh. Hold on. I'm gonna clip whatever the fuck that was. I don't think I have any mods in chat right now. Clip. Wait, clip copied to clip that. No. That's not cut far enough back. I'll have to check that out later, because, like, I swear, I swear I saw a Fox Parks flying across the world. Just, like, from over in the, gr the group over there, just, like, into the distance. Bizarre. Are these Fox Parks dead? It must be. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, so it must have been one of the dead bodies, if I were to guess. What? What is going on? What is... What is... Wait. What is... Okay, there's like a bunch of pal interactions going on right now. Why? What? <laughs> I don't know what's going on! Okay, that I definitely got. <laughs> yeah, okay, I did actually just get the, uh... I don't, I don't understand what the fuck's going- is there- why are there chickpeas fighting deer? I, I don't understand what's going on. This is so confusing. Yes, there are Kremis, Ron. I should catch some of them. Forty five percent. 
so I can condense into more Karamis. Anyways, I was going to do that dungeon quickly over where we were before. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm starting to feel like if I can move the outpost around, outpost base, the third base around, so that I have, I can access uh, metal wherever I need to go, uh, then I can focus on other things, like coal, for example, but I have that in the, at the other base, the second base. So I feel like dungeons is probably worth it, because there's a lot of dungeons that, like, a lot of high-level dungeons that are not near waypoints. I've been slowly trying to figure out where they all are. But you just didn't notice that your friends just got hit with a giant ice shard? Lightning strike. And dark laser. Man, Estagon is so big, it's so hard to see anything going on. I think I'm missing. Like, really badly. Estagon? Are you on neutral? You must be. Yeah, we got them dealt with. It's it's important to stop and like get any bases or any uh, dungeons that you can that are in higher level areas if you're just have new wandering past because the rewards for these dungeons are extremely good like the xp for example that's something good but more importantly the chests in here are extremely good mainly the chests at the end but the side chests also are good well, that one sucked Oh, Neris. Perfect. I don't know if I need Lunaris for anything, but... Oh, I, I just need more Lunaris, okay. We have this Marioth here, and lots of Sibbies. I need Dragon for Marioth. Let's see, will Dragon Meteor work today? Where, where is it going? I do not understand why Dragon Meteor just seems to target random points in the world. It doesn't seem to seek anything out. I can't really see what rhyme or reason there is to most of its uh, targeting. Oh, they're so sleepy. Num 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 XP. I don't see any... Did we end up in the, the at the entrance again? Is this the entrance? And I hate that I keep doing that. Like, ugh, I get turned around so easily in this place. Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage. Oh, because it was sleeping. That's why. It was a stealth attack. No. No power bombing me.
So many civil X. Oh. Chest. This must not be the chest we encountered at the start, because they don't respawn quickly. Not like that. How have we gone this way? <laughs> okay, this way is a dead end, I think. Actually, it's, it's really hard to tell, because I'm not as familiar with the, uh, the complexities of the uh, higher-level dungeons, since they have different uh, pathing, so to speak. The dungeon paths are different. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so this was the right direction. And that's the boss room. What are these other rooms? I don't see any chests, so I'll just go straight up to the boss room. Because we really want to get some more... Mm, we really want to get some more... Uh, of uh, the plus one and plus two pieces of gear. Which you can only get in the higher level dungeons. Like, having plus one or plus two work speed amulets would really help. Uh, I don't really... well, whatever. If it survives, it survives. about to burn to death, though, so it probably should stay in the ball if it wants to survive. Stay in the ball if you want to live. There we go. We still need Tombat somehow. Nice, our noob has hit 48. Future technical manual! That's three tech points. Fuck yes. Another good reason to do these. Plus two life pendant! Yes! Oh my gosh. A plus two is even better. I mean, I would assume that there's plus three and four, potentially. Uh, three for epic and four for legendary, seeing as this is a rare, but... Uh, how much life does this give? Holy shit, that's 600 life. Oh yeah, I'll totally do that. Yeah, these, these dungeons are really worth it. And we need more tech manuals pretty badly right now. You are definitely not a goat. You are a goat. There we go. There we go! Yes. Spike him! Like him. Oh, come on. You can't tell me you don't have a... Yeah, you do have a spike. I knew you were hiding one. Okay, so we still have day left. Okay. Let's explore the rest of this this island here. I think it's going to be ideal to put up a base. That's just the dungeon location. I think it'd be ideal to put up a base specifically on the uh, in the frozen area. The uh, frozen area is a little bit higher level than the desert area. So I think that'll be for the best. Plus, the desert area doesn't really have a huge number of dungeons, in my experiences. And also doesn't have 
pure quartz. But being near some pure quartz would be nice. I do want to try to find some dungeon locations and mark them down. I might resort to actually checking uh, the internet at some point for that. Actually, if I don't need the uh, Thermal Ender shirt right now, I can put the Defense Pendant on instead. I can always swap it on later if I need it. I think there's a good spot around the waterfall there that has a bit of ore nodes. Okay. Thank you, Pyro. Also, hi. Waterfall. Which waterfall are you referring to? Is it something that was just on screen, or...? Or are you referring to something just in this area, somewhere? I don't see any waterfalls. But that doesn't mean they're not here. <laughs> Nice wide open area here. Not really much in the way of defenses, though. And also, I don't. There's not like a dungeon here, so it's not as useful. I'd like to be somewhat near dungeons. There's a dungeon over there. I want to see if this dungeon's open. If it's open, I definitely need to go in it. No, it's not. Need to go in as many dungeons as I can. Because we need lots more plus one and plus two gear. I think it's in the green hill just southeast of the snow tower with the grass god. Oh, uh, that's a different island. The, uh, if you're talking about uh, Lylene, the Harvest God, she's here. And there is a waterfall here. I assume you're talking about in this area here. This area is not high enough level for what I'm hoping for. That's supposed to be like 2535. And I ideally want to be in the highest level zone possible, near a speci specifically near a dungeon. I think that's honestly more important than ore right now. Because just how annoying it is to get to dungeons sometimes. Because, like, there's, there's not a whole lot of dungeons when it comes to high level dungeons. It actually becomes a really big problem finding them. Especially finding ones that are open. My gosh, they're... Not, not as common as I would like, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, it's about about this area. This area has, like, some scattered rocks. Uh, metal rocks, normal rocks, pure quartz rocks, and it also has a skill fruit tree. Wait, I'm hot. Hot? Okay, that's weird. Light- oh, lightning strike, yes! Seed mine. Power bomb, okay. I guess hanging out near, like, a high-level skill fruit tree wouldn't be so bad! Okay, that almost was bad. That would be so bad if it fell off. Okay, well, if this is high enough level to create epic skill fruit, then... This is probably a good spot, too. It's not the flattest of terrain, and we probably won't get raided here, either. Also, I can come here if I need skill for it. It's, I think it's probably more important that I'd be near a dungeon. Like, immediately near a dungeon. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I, I thought that they were the same island for a while. But, apparently not. Uncommon, uncommon uh, assault rifle. I don't know if I have that. 
Where is the dungeon? I think the dungeon's over there. It's still far away from the du any dungeon. No, it's okay. Not a big deal. I appreciate you trying to help. Always listen to suggestions, even if they don't work out. Oh. You got away. Ha I don't know what killed him. Okay, so I want to finish, like, scouting this this area, basically. This terrain. Is this? This increases grass pal drops. Oh, Mamorists are not... They're not grass pals. I thought that... I thought the uh, Blaze How was uh, ice pals. Though... Oh, not that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Memorist meat. Well, more importantly, high quality pal oil. Okay, Ignis Rage. And let it do its own thing. Awesome. There's actually a spot I'm thinking of potentially for a base. There's another skill fruit tree besides that one on this island. And it is off to I think it's here. Wait, no, this is not right. This is for where Frostalian is. I think Frostalian's right there, and I think the skill fruit tree is up here. I put bread icons on the skill fruit trees. <laughs> Because I genuinely don't have a better option for that. I don't know what else would. No! 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 Oh no! Okay. Okay. We're alive. Everything's fine. Goodbye. My people need me. Oh my gosh! Grappling hooks suck. Let me up. I hate I hate going on cooldown when it doesn't even do anything. Uh okay, fine. I have a flying mount. I should use it. I wanted to scan out this area to see like if there's any more stuff that I hadn't really gotten, but I probably should just go to the one place that I know should probably be good. I'm spending too much time fucking around. Can I? Can I sit down, please? No. Let me. I need to sit down on something. I'm out of stamina. There we go. Also, I need a faster mount pretty badly. I've been wondering about breeding up a swift and swift slash runner mount. That'd be really nice. So one that has the two main uh, movement speed bonuses. That oh, that's a basic. Oh boy, lag. Oh. 
Whoa! It's a lot of lag. Oh! I didn't realize that uh, the tower was on this side. Yeah, by the way, there's yet another tower we haven't visited. We're going to head over to the tower and grab the waypoint there. Also, chest. I hope this one has a gold key in it, because we're out of gold keys. Gosh darn it, it's a, it's a lock chest. No! Those have the schematics and those are the good ones. I need... <laughs> I need keys. I want my yummy chests. Okay, good. Birdo's gonna fall down again. Okay, here it's chest. Oh. So we have a waypoint and tech point there, and we get another one up here. Was a lift monk. Algenic research unit tower. Wait, why can't I? Why won't you let me pick the lift monk up? I could, I can obviously interact with things, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to fast. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get the waypoint. This is not useful. <laughs> Gosh darn it! Let's try this again. Okay. No! <laughs> Damn it! Wait a minute. Hold a second. I'm doing this the dumb way. I can just teleport to that waypoint now. <laughs> That's so much easier than, than getting up there other ways. Why am I being so silly? Wait, I can't... What? I can't climb this? Eh. Eh. Now I get it for some reason. Strange. Who wants to see what the Palgenetics Tower is like? Uh. Why did we go, like, all country suddenly? <laughs> No, I, I'm good. Okay, Palgenic Research Tower. Pause the music for a second. I need to remember to turn it back on after. It's N! If he comes out with a black dragon, it's going to be... It is N! Victor and Shadowbeak. Yeah, that, that's just, that's just N! And, and, uh... 
Oh, not Deoxys. What the fuck is he? Is his name? Uh, the the. There he is. No, I'm trying to think of Pokemon names. Hmm. Zekrom? Oh, I don't believe in me at all. This requires dragon type damage. What the hell is that? Like, 50 Dark Balls? I mean, that's kind of cool. It actually makes Dark Ball, like, vaguely useful, but... Nope. Don't like that. That's really cool, but I don't like that. How much damage am I doing? Whoa, look at the fire! It's doing 220 damage a shot. I wonder if, like, the key to doing a lot of these higher-level fights is, like, a mixture of fire and poison. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if fire and poison can both do enough damage fast enough, though. We're down 10,000 health, but we're a minute and a half in, so... We're not currently moving fast enough that we'll be able to do anything. Ow. We need something to boost dragon pal type damage. Nope. Nope, we're not doing that. Good, he's on fire. So fire does, like, a, a truly obscene amount of damage, because it's, um... Not proportional, um... It's, it's percentage damage, not flat damage. So, fire will do a very small amount to low-level pals, but to high-level pals, it does a ton. I don't feel like I'm in a huge amount... Mm, I was gonna say I don't feel like I'm in a huge amount of danger, but then they immediately pull out a, a, a blizzard spike. Also, there goes frosting. So, there is that. Uh, oh, you can try it, Astagon. Have fun. You probably won't, I admit. I mean, this is a really pretty birdie, but... Wow, that did nothing. Like, like, literally, I don't think, I don't think that did anything. Yeah, we're only down 10% of his health, and we're halfway through the fight. This is one of those times I wish you could, um, forfeit. Nope. No. Come here, Astagon. Dark laser. There's just a wall. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can't jump off. I do wish you could cancel it somehow. Is like an out point, maybe? No. No, I'm I'm like I'm just gonna die. That's that's the uh That's probably what it's gonna be. Interesting. So poison's doing about two hundred damage. Can I set it on fire as well as poison? I don't seem to be able to set it on fire. Okay, now the poison's gone. Maybe you can't poison and burn at the same time.
Oh. Oh, wait, wrong. Okay. Snapshot? Wait, did you get a snapshot, or...? You mean just, like, in general? That would actually be a good spot. Uh, like, whatever that was would be worthwhile as my uh, thumbnail, probably. I should... I should add that my notes I'm are we at yeah Important. We are very high up now. We. We. Boing. 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 Ah, skiing with your friendly neighborhood goat. Wee. Wee. Oh. oh, thank you. Thank you for helping me keep my head on gay. Okay, so there's actually, like, a really nice spot around here for a base, I think. Yeah, it's right over there, I think. Okay, so here, specifically, I don't know where part of- which part of here. Oh, nice. I don't know which part of here, but we have a uh, skill fruit tree here. We have a dungeon right there. Hammer ball. Solar Blast? Rock Lance? I've never even seen Solar Blast before, that's new. Yeah, this is like a max level skill fruit tree. Okay, this has got to be, like, a trail here for, for rayers to come through. If I plunk down a uh, base, like, right here-ish, that could totally work, I think. Also, we have a horde of... Dragon's Horde here of, uh, tier ports, which is nice. Put up here. Not really enough space up here, per se. Where would be the best spot? I mean, I can flatten things out a little bit with, uh... With, uh, putting down foundations, but... There needs to be, like, some level of... This isn't so bad, but there is trees everywhere. And those trees will constantly pop up. 
And my pals will constantly get distracted breaking them. I know from experience. Hmm. Genuinely, the most best spot might just be, like, right there. Okay. Somehow right here-ish. Okay, I'm gonna... Snag uh, the resource base. Bring the outpost over here. Oops, down. Need that. For the handgun ammo for a second. Okay. Where is the edge of it? Okay. There's space here. If we expand a bit over here, this space will be completely protected, and the only direction they can come from is, is uh, from the east over there. Plus, we do have an ore rock, we have an extremely high-level skill fruit tree, and we have a dungeon. This is not a very good spot for the edge of the base, though. It's actually, like, really awful. Yes, I want it to be farther this way so that we can put a barricade up. Because we're only going to need a barricade on that side only. Only going to need a barricade on that side only. Wow. English! I know it. Let's try that. Lots of area to block off. That's fine. We'll go a little bit outside the uh, bounds here to do a uh, area straight across. That'll be fine. I have structural decay off for outside boundaries, so we'll be able to expand a tiny bit out. There's the edge. There's a bit of an edge going down here. That's not a huge issue. Do we want... We could move the base a bit further towards the south to prevent that. I don't know if it's going to really give us much of anything though, to do that. It will also mean we'll lose a bit of range over here. Yeah, we've already lost a bit of range here, actually. Okay, I'm going to move the base a little bit south, and then we can get the ore rock back in the, uh, in the section. Okay, ore rock's back in. Still a fair bit of room around here. Okay, on the edge right here, that's fine. I don't really want to give it too much more room. Okay, this this should be fine. Hopefully there will be enough... Uh, hopefully there will be enough space for everything. This is what I want to get away from. Just like the hell of everything being everywhere. There's just too much shit going on here, and we I, I just want to decrease that somehow. Like, we could move uh, food production to a different base. That might be worth it. No, not you. Of 
or frosting. Okay, who wants to revive frosting for me? Someone rescuing him. Maybe. Are you rescuing? Aid. Yeah. But he's stuck. Okay, no. He wasn't stuck. He moved improperly. There we are. Man, frosting's a lot of health. 4,600. Cool. Okay. How are we doing for ore right now? Or not ore, for... Oh god, we only have 45 ingots? Oh, we have, like, no ore right now. That's not good. We also just moved our outpost, which means we can't go there for ore right now. I think what that means... <laughs> I think what that means is that we... We need more dig toys so badly. What we need to do... Is do the old-fashioned thing that we've been doing since the very start of this world, and that is we're going to the desolate church. We are going to... Get lots of ore here. No, not you. I love the grappling hook. I thought it was the most worthless piece of shit for the longest time, and then I found its true use. Helping you move around when you're overloaded on supplies. Thankfully, the grappling hook doesn't just break because I have 5,000 pounds on me. Six thousand. Up to 808. Okay, so I'll make about 400 uh, things there. 7,500 pounds. Yeah, okay, so we'll have about 450 ore, or 450 ingots, which will give us a whole lot of, uh, I mean, that's 450 uh, foundations we can make with that. And there will be no mistake this time, we are going to make everything out of metal. I know it's, like, bloody expensive to do it, and it's a pain in the ass, but I don't think there is a better option. I think everything needs to be made of metal. Especially if we're going to get raided over there. We need some refined ingots, but the rest are all going to be normal. Okay. What increases work speed? And work that is work speed. Also is work speed.
Okay, let's sleep. We can get our Yormantide on it immediately. And get working. No, we're not doing that. I swear there used to be a feature where you could, like, block out songs on Spotify that you didn't want to listen to. But I have yet to ever be able to find that feature again. Okay, we already have an uncommon assault rifle, unfortunately. This will not be useful. Okay, who's working from Bushi? Fuck out of the way. You have level two fire making. Okay. Come on, Tide. Increase your work speed. Be done quicker. You, I can't even in interact with. What is going on? Okay, now, everyone, focus on work, please. I'll go figure out who's making trouble outside. Oh, looks like they're dead. What else? No. Okay. We are going to have to deal with the issue of much more powerful creatures will be getting angry at us constantly. But I'm not incredibly worried about that. Because we have a number... I, I have some, some decent fire types that are strong. So they'll be the ones I'll be putting out. And they'll just crush anything that's in the way. Please, I want to go over there. Okay. Uh, there's no point having a handgun, because I'm out of handgun ammo completely. Uh, what do I want? I could use just use the assault rifle. I don't need the single shot rifle then at all. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna dump that and bring the spare with me in case I need it. That'll be my easy solution to things. What are you doing? Idle. Why are you idle? My fridge is idling. That's concerning. What's wrong with the fridge? Are you just... Not on break. This is idle. Why are you not? He's he's sanity's fine. He's like perpetually happy. No, the fridge is running. That's the problem. <laughs> My fridge has started wandering. Oh my god, 95 cakes. Well, uh, maybe that's a bit overkill, but... Whatever. What do I have here? This is defense. Bring along some work speed stuff. Okay, so what I need right now, I need stone, uh, okay, we need stone and wood over here. Okay, make 2,000 pickaxes, cancel, drop, make another 2,000 pickaxes, drop, 
Ah, and that's all of my stone and wood. How much do I want to bring with me? I'll bring a thousand of each. Why not? Bring some fiber. Bring the ingots. Bring some palladium. That should be good for now. Okay. Okay, we could really use some of these trees cleared. Hold on, I gotta have someone who's low. Okay, yeah, I do have some level 3 lumbers. Okay, metal chest. Wait, they have handiwork? Oh, they have handiwork level one. Uh. Oh, speaking of which, I should, uh, I want to touch on that. So, I've been looking at some of the upcoming features for Pal World. Some people are probably aware that there's a monitoring stand in the game. Now to explain what the monitoring stand does is you can set different work levels basically depending on how much uh, how fast you want people to be working. Uh this is just this is just its only feature right now. I there's nothing else you can do with it. However, I have been seeing some screenshots that are coming up with, like, a checklist of different things, like, different jobs that each pal can do, and, like, X's and check marks on different ones, which I believe means that you'll be able to soon block pals from doing certain things and, like, focus them on certain things. Cannot wait for. Plus, we have the raids coming too. With Bella Noir. Looking forward to that specifically. No, I don't want to. No, bye bye. There must be a lot more wood on the ground than it looks like, because it seems to be picking up a lot. Okay, there we go. Okay, so before we can do pretty much anything, we're going to need to uh, put down some foundations. We did not unlock foundations yet. Oops. Metal structure set. Do we have the doors? No, we don't have the iron gate yet. We have the metal defensive walls, at least. But the iron gate's more important than the walls. Anyways, we need the uh, foundations the most right now. Okay. Okay, so what level do we want to have the stuff at? It can't be below the level of whatever, of the ground at any point. This is probably the highest point, which will make it easiest. Point it directly north. Uh, is that a good height? Should be an okay height. Eh. 
Eh. Let me... Let me interact with the chest. Thank you. Oh. Right. Try to push the right button, or it just makes it go away immediately. Relapse with object or character. Okay, that won't work. This is going to be expensive, but it's absolutely going to be worth it. Not placed on ground. Uh, I was worried that was going to happen. Yeah, so this is... This means that the... Uh, either we don't use that spot, or the foundations are too high up now for that to work. Which means that I'm probably going to lower the foundations instead. I'm going to do that instead. Don't like having to redo everything, but... I want to have, I don't want to just have sections of my base inaccessible. Nope. Nope. Not connected. I'm just going to let it go whatever direction it wants to go, because unlike bricks, it doesn't really have too obvious a point where, like, where it's pointing. Like, like these are definitely not all pointing the same direction, but it's really hard to tell. You can tell kind of, like, by looking at the metal part specifically, but I don't care. So that section's just not going to be accessible. That's fine. That makes sense to me. I've lost another object. Oh. Apparently there was fiber melted into the ground there. Weird. Already down 100 ingots. Oh, that hurts so much. But I need to do this. This is what it takes to make your base, like, actually sturdy and able to withstand. Shit. General shit. Okay, why isn't that working? Up on their object character. No, it's because the edge is there. Ah, uh, hate, hate the building system in this game sometimes. I think this might be worse than before. Though we don't have to have a platform in every spot. Hopefully if they just ease up the building stuff a little bit, I'll be able to put this down whenever they do that, whenever that update comes out. I'm sure an update like that will come out eventually. Ah. Uh, this is still too high up, and I don't think I can fix that. Meaning we're just going to have a hole here. <laughs> hmm. 
Is there any way to deal with that problem? Oh. Is there any way to make that problem into a solution? What can we do with a hole that would be useful? Relapse or something? I'll probably... Oh yeah. Okay. There's there's shit on the ground that we're not seeing because it's under the snow. Not really anything there. Oh, more here. Oh, that works. It's a bit of an irregular shape, but we'll probably be able to make some fun things out of it because of its shape. Okay, not doing that. We'll do that. Hopefully that won't have inter affect the spawning there. Okay, so... We're gonna need to move the storage over. That, that noise was really creepy. <laughs> I still haven't gotten over the war sex. Like, they, for some reason, they still make me uncomfortable. Which is definitely a bug thing. Definitely a bug make me uncomfortable thing. Bug make me no comfy. Okay, so we're going to put the PAL box right here. Maybe I should put it across two. There. Okay, hopefully that's not a bad spot. Don't didn't really want to move it too much, but we also have to make sure that uh, it's on top. It needs to be on top of the uh, stuff, not just. Uh, we can't just not have floor there. Okay, let's go up and see how this is looking so far. This is how big the area is. That's that's a pretty big base. That's that should be more than fine for what we need. Got some really weird spots with uh, where you can and can't build, but I mean, eh, work that out. That's fine. We'll fix it in post. I don't actually know what that means. Okay, I know what that means, but like, it doesn't actually mean anything in this case. Okay, so we have a house. Well, we don't have a house. We have a platform. <laughs> I if there's like a way that I can place something down here.
Hmm. I'm trying to do is do the Oh, it's not gonna work. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna have a pit here, and that is going to have to be acceptable. <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. Why does this game suck for building? Okay, well, we're gonna have a, uh... We're gonna put our... We're gonna fill our base hole. We don't have any issues. There we go. Oh, wait, I can't break that. That'll roughly keep things away from the hole. I think that'll be okay. Okay, so how should we build this house? I've been playing with a lot of different designs lately. I'm going to find one that I really like. I think no matter what, I should have it farther to this side, seeing as that's the side where we're in most danger from. I don't want to block up the ore rock. So... Where would be the best spot? It needs to be four along in one direction. It doesn't have to be both directions, it's one of the directions. And that's enough to... That'll give enough space that we can put a conveyor belt in. I'm kind of set into the design of we have we have the production conveyor belt on the bottom level with our chests, and then we have the uh, other conveyor belts upstairs. And we don't need this to be too tall. Duh. We want to turn it there. Because if we don't turn it there, it's going to be facing the wall, and then we either need to extend it that way, the house, or... or we have trouble with the pals again. Those pals are incredibly temperamental in this game when it comes to actually doing the things you want them to do. Okay, so we can't cover that spot, or the pals won't be able to get up here. They're silly. Hmm. Actually, here's... Hmm. Here's what I'm thinking. We'll move... Let's move the stairs a bit, actually. I put up some walls here so that the entire thing doesn't come down on me because I'm going to move the stairs. Make better use of the space. We are going to put the stairs in the corner. Then we're going to make a turn. Then we're going to put the stairs here. I really hate the way these, these things connect together. It's really stupid. <laughs> okay, so... If we have it this way... 
we have it this way, then the conveyor belt has to be against this wall, and then there's like this weird section of not very usable space. That's a problem. Okay, what happens if we make the house four along in the other direction instead? No, that's the foundation. So that it goes this way. That's the most important thing that we have. Access to everything? Okay. Uh, is that too far out of the bounds, maybe? I don't like having the corner of the house out, because... I mean, in servers where there's, there's structural decay, that would decay immediately. Uh, but in a server like this, or like a, a world like this, the bigger issue is that you might want to put something in that corner, and it like if you put a storage in the corner, then it, it just will not be counted as part of the base, and anything you store in it just won't count, which will cause issues, as you might imagine. We could rotate this entire thing. It would be better to rotate this a different direction. Yes, it would be better to rotate this a different direction. Okay. So, to do that... To do that, I need to figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> Let's say this is the front. I think the biggest problem is that I shouldn't have the... I shouldn't have the stairs where they are right now. That is a problem. I think they need to be rotated a little bit. Specifically so that they are... Wait, it was going up there. Which means we need to have it here now. Go up. Break that. Okay, maybe not break that that way. <laughs> uh, oops. Wait, no, that's too many. That's the wrong spot. Also, when I put down doors like this, it's, I'm not, like, they're just placeholders so that I can place these stairs. I use doors specifically because then I don't have to swap between these two, two radial wheels. Radial menus. Okay, more space now. However, I do want walls that I can see out of here, because this is a really pretty place, and to not have the ability to see out of it at all would be kind of sad. It'd be better to just have... Let's check our board it. We have the two in the corner, we have that one. That's okay. And then none this way, because this is the direction towards... Danger. So the conveyor belt's going to go there, and we're going to put chests around here ish. I place this against the wall, yes, I can. Okay. It's actually the same design I'm using in my personal world, and I need to make sure to iterate on it properly, because otherwise I am going to accidentally end up with the same problem I had in that world. 
That problem being that we ended up with a bunch of extra space in this corner specifically. So I probably make that the most efficient. Probably going to do is put walls over here. Okay, let's put all the walls up first so I can see what's going on. I can always add Windows Layer. That's not as hard to add. Oh, actually, I'm going to get very cold in a second because it's about to turn night, so I'm going to push through the day. I'm going to make it different this time. Um than, like, our original house, in the sense that our original house was meant to allow things that were too high to walk into it. I do not want that anymore. That is not a good idea. The tallest thing that I need to be walking in here is Anubis. Nothing taller. If otherwise, we're just going to have giant pals wandering around our house, like we continue to have in the other base, and that's not useful. That is the opposite of useful. Alright. Okay. We're going to do the same, the same stairs on each level, but they'll be in reverse. So, this way, the stair, bottom level, the stairs will be facing west. Second level, the stairs will be facing east, and the next level, the stairs will be facing west. Um, is that too much? No, it's not, because this would be too much. The pals wouldn't be able to get up if you do this, because this isn't enough space for their AI to allow them to go up. But this should be a, a tiny bit more than a full block, so that should be fine. Means I can also cover this area. Okay, so we can put our sphere conveyor belt there. Our weapon conveyor belt up here. Okay, where do I want to put stuff? Okay, that should be enough windows. That'll be fine. Happy. Can I... Uh, this? Okay, I'm going to take a risk. Can I do this without... Oh, wait, I was going to take it each corner. Can I take it each corner? Yes, that is still apparently structurally stable. That's fine. This is fine. Oh, okay, no, I have a better idea than, than, than this. What we're going to do is we're going to do diagonal windows. So this corner, so we're going to have northwest and southeast corners are going to have windows. On each level. Whoa. I don't know what that was. Southeast, northwest. We can also a allow a window here on the landing, which would mean right here. Okay. We'll take out these. I think that'll look the nicest. This will allow for multiple conveyor belts, at least. So that'll be good. The question is, do we want an egg, egg hatching station up here? 
We could like I have a tendency to put egg hatching uh stuff in the in the uh uh not the roof in the um upper floor of whatever base I built, but that's probably not a good idea because then you have to constantly be running up and down, up and down, up and down when you're breeding. Because holy shit, are there ever tons of eggs for that? It actually would be better to have a long thin building. Two separate ones. One for cold eggs, one for warm eggs. That would probably be the most convenient method of doing this. I don't think we've had to build that, though. I mean, the egg building is not the most important thing to build right now. But... I could very quickly build it, just so I have an idea of where things are going in the base. This is what I could do. We have... our door right here. Walk in. We have a bunch of incubators along the side here. Go up here, and then we have incubators in the L in an L shape up here as well. And we don't need to leave clearance here because we don't need pals in this room. Also, block off some uglier spaces in this in this place as well. I... I wish I could put that there. Do that. Not so bad. Then I could put a Statue of Power right here. That's facing the wrong direction. Cool. We need 24 more lift monks, and then we'll have maxed our capture power. Should really do that. <laughs> I haven't really been working on that. Kind of ignoring it. Uh, do I want... I don't really want windows. I'm worried that having windows will be dangerous if we get raided. I'll put windows on either side here so that they're facing into the base or towards the wall or something. I think that'll be safer. How much danger are these in? Probably not that much. I, I'm probably worrying for nothing. Okay, get the roof up. I need that. Oh, oh god, where did that go? Oh, it's inside, that's okay. I can work with that. Okay, and that up. There and there. Cool. There. Not exactly the prettiest house, but it is a house. It is a house that is functional and will serve its purpose properly. Don't have to worry. There we go. There. 
This will be one of my egg buildings, and I'll make another one somewhere else. We'll figure out where later. Probably farther away from that, so maybe on this side. No, because this is this is way too close to the rock. I don't want anything close to the rock, because the rock is going to be a pain in the ass to work with then. Why do I feel like I painted myself into a corner a little bit here? I mean, I could put it there. That'd be fine. Not ideal, but it's okay. And I'll do the exact same design for the cold house, too. I, I find it's most convenient to have, like, one area for the co warm eggs and one for the cold eggs. I just It's just too much of a pain otherwise, I find. Alright. Each of those. Oh, come on! Because there's, like, a sl the slightest branch? Yeah, there's, like, there is a very slight branch right there, right by the, the south little S. Ugh. I... I love this game, I do, but I also hate it sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, well, that will work. Not, it's ugly, but I don't care. It'll work. That's the important thing. Oh, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Could we move it over one? Sometimes we move it over one. If we move it over one, we can't get around the, the house easily. Can't really move it in most directions. I guess we can move it north. Way. Alright, I'm gonna put up windows wherever there's, like, things to actually look at, so I guess I'll put it up on the opposite side, and then have the side facing the base closed off. Better not tell me that there's some stupid thing in the, in the way of my roof or something, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Okay, we seem to be good. Okay. Can I not? What? No. Can I? Hmm. It is so hard to place roofs in this game. You always have to place the one below them first, I find. Unless there's, like, some method to doing it I'm not aware of. I mean, there might be. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm far from all-knowing. The world would be very boring if I was all-knowing. Okay, so this will be the cold house. For our cold eggs. hate doing everything in, in metal. It looks awful. But it's also efficient. Very efficient. So... I'll have to mix something in here to make this look less... square. 
Because it's very square currently. I mean, that's always nice, but unfortunately we can't cover up the corner there very easily. Wait a minute. Hold on. What? What is going on? Is it... Hold on. Do I need to put this here so that it'll be excited? Oh. Oh, that's right. Sure. Yeah, let's do it that way. Why not? Wait, that's... Damn it, that's the wrong direction. <laughs> no! Oh, wait, it works if I just point it the right direction. Okay. Who knew I was the problem all along? Like usual... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, I don't want a door there. I want, like, a real wall. Which I can't... Okay, no, I can put it now. Cool. At least the inside will be a little bit less... flat. And then I could do a slanted roof here. To make this a bit more... Evening. I don't think if I want to do this the normal way, or do it like a fancy way to make it look really nice. I don't know if I need to do fancy. I like, I like doing fancy, but for now, I want us to have a house. Oh shit, we're through all 400 ingots already. Okay, well... Our roof is going to be stone for now, then. Just until later, till I get enough ingots. More important, we're not, like, affected by the elements than anything else. I will just make this a temporary measure. Designer, I can't possibly just make a box and call it good. I have to do something like that. But something just occurred to me. If all I'm going to be using this upper floor for is the uh, conveyor belt, I can make... I can... This doesn't have to be three... Uh, like, three by four. I could do two by four instead. Which is good. Because if you do two by four... Then you can start doing cool slanted roofs. Please. Please, come on. Please. I hate you. I hate you. Hate. Hate is overwhelming. Okay, this will work. This reminds me a whole lot of when uh, Seven Days to Die was in, like, Alpha 14, 15, 16. You, like, you kind of just had to make do with whatever you had. There wasn't really a whole lot of building options back then in the game. So, it very much was just making do. Okay, no, we're gonna change songs. There we go. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, and this side's gonna be easy, too. Now for the hard part. Wait, no, this won't be hard, because we... 
Because we can just go. Because we can just go. Ah! Okay. No, I'm good. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Because we... Oh, fuck. I can't. I'm out of ingots. No, that's fine. I can do that. Do that. It's okay. There's no problems. Everything is fine. Actually, I could do another wedge up here. What are you doing, Pyro? <laughs> I feel like you're getting yourself into trouble. I'm just complaining. It's not that big a deal, I don't think. I don't know. Uh, actually, wait. How does this look? Even though I better just leave that there. Okay, well, that's less flat. That's much better, actually. Hmm. Okay, so the bottom level, I'm going to put down torches to show up where the uh, things are going to go. The uh, conveyor belts are going to go here. Or, or that's one of them. Then, we are going to put our storage like that. Up here, we are going to put our conveyor belts here, and then we are going to put, I'll use the feed box, we're going to put our uh, power generator here. Oh, that was the sound of torches being destroyed downstairs. I don't know what that sound was. And then we are going to put our conveyor belt there. That'll be that. And then maybe something in the corner here? I don't know in the corner. Oh, we need to put a bed somewhere. Forgot about that. And I could just sleep elsewhere. <laughs> I could shove the bed underneath here. <laughs> I don't think that would even work, though. I don't know if that would work. I don't know if I should even try to make that work. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can put a bed somewhere else. I could make a bed shack. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I could actually make like a nice little house for, for my bed, like something that actually looks cozy for once. I could even do something overlooking here, like... I mean, like, look at this. Look at this view. This is the view from my house now. That's awesome. <laughs> I can't wait till the, uh, the Yidrasil tree gets released. It looks like it's going to be a, uh, mixture of the uh, grassland zones and some of the sandy zones. Okay, putting that aside, I think we still need, uh, yeah, we still need two more tech points because we don't have the Iron Gate or Battle Defensive Walls yet, and that takes three total. We have, we don't have any stiff, we don't, okay, we don't need the, um, concrete on us, so we can't actually make much of a wall right now. Hmm. 
I'm gonna put down like just a very basic wall as defense for a moment. Actually, wait, this makes less sense than what I was intending. Because what I can do, I can just use doors instead. I mean, this isn't going to stay here for very long, so it's fine. Doors! Every door! You get a door, and you get a door, and you get a door, and you get a door. And would you like a door as well? Door? No, you're not getting a door, you're getting a wall. And that'll be how I get out of here, for now. No, it's okay. What you been playing? This... This actually might be an issue here. We'll need... I'll put this... What the... No, not roof. I want... Angle wall? There we go. Okay, that's kind of... A wall. Kind of. That'll last like four seconds, unfortunately, if we get raided, but we'll just have to keep an eye out on it. At least things won't be wandering into the base easily. Also, we need to get an alarm bell up immediately, so we can actually toggle what our pals are doing. Wait, no, let's not put that there. Let's put it here. Lightyear Frontier. I assume that's like space exploration or something. Is it anything like FTL? Okay, so we have a lot of stuff moved over now. We need to go get some more... Wait, I can go into the dungeon here and get resources. I completely forgot about that. I could probably go get a bunch of uh, ore in there right now. I do have my dig toys. Good. Awesome. I do like sci-fi as a theme, but I admit I don't really play too much sci-fi. Just, I guess, kind of, I don't know, coincidentally. Okay, I need uh, you to not do whatever you're doing. That's some ore. Not very much, but some. Ugh. There's dudes over there. Dig toys? Where are you going? No. Stop that. First, let's pick all this shit up. Okay. Drop some. Okay, so they're all in the corner. Get them. Cool. 11,000 XP. How did all of those... All my pals got 11,890 XP, despite the fact that, that two of them are different levels. What the fuck? I don't understand how XP works in this game. I don't see why pals can't just gain XP at the same rate. Oh, I'm so happy. We got a level 45 dungeon here that it could have been much lower than that it could be a 40 which would be much worse well that's not much much lower but it's a bit lower Ooh. 
You hit two? Yeah. Ow. Okay, well, I was really hoping to catch that, but I guess that's not happening. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. If it get if it pops out of this ball, it's going into the ceiling. Okay. Thankfully, we got it. Otherwise, it was just gonna stay up there for a while. <laughs> that would suck. Get the pier quartz. Fortunately, we don't have any ore rocks immediately here, but we do have good access to palladium and pier quartz. There's probably ore rocks in here somewhere. Grapple! Ah, let's do a torch. I got torched! Okay. Eh. There we go. What time is it? Okay, it's nearing night time, which is great. Always a good time to raid a dungeon, because oftentimes, if it's not a dark type dungeon boss, they will be asleep, so you'll be able to get some nice sneak damage on them. I probably I probably need a Reptyro, actually. I go for that. Ow. No! No! Bluff. Darn it. Mm, oh, darn, they're back. Oh, is the pug sad? What's going on? Eh. Okay. Put Marius in there. Let's go this way. I think there's maybe more ore in here. Uh, I think there's some here. There we go. Bones. Okay. Oh, we have everything except for ore here. However, we have a chest here. Gold key, gold key, gold key. Yes, gold key! Good. Well, this stuff is all very useful, even if it isn't the ore that we've been looking for. Okay, palladium is the easiest to carry, seeing as it's only one pound a piece. Then coal is three, which makes it add up really fucking fast, unfortunately. We're now, we're now 200 over. You know what? Five ore is not worth 40 pounds.
There. That's the maximum amount we can carry without being overloaded. Let's see if there's a war rock in here somewhere. Or if this is purely just ports and stuff. Oh, they were asleep. Awesome. We were able to get the sneak damage. That's good. I love that. Okay, there's Linaris here. Chest, 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 chest. Bulky? Large palisol. Okay. Man aggressive. Should be enough to kill them. Good XP. Ooh, my dig toys is work uh, almost at 50. And I'm carrying too much again. Okay. Well, I'm going to go dump my inventory first. Then I'll come back and get more stuff. Is that, is that a dead body or is that a... No, that's a live body. Or these. But they're asleep. 10,000 for a single skill usage is totally worth it. <laughs> so good. Okay, we should be more than fine. Bump that too. Here, I'll, I'll leave my armor here. I don't need my heat armor right now, anyways. Let's see if we can finish this dungeon before we run out of night time. Because I want to get as much... I want to kill as many things as I can while they're asleep as possible. You know, in retrospect, that's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> oh. Where did you come from? Oh, whatever. I know where you're going! Oblivion! <laughs> this hit both of them. Or either of them. Okay, it did hit one of them. Thirteen hundred for killing a single pal is really or not pal. Get single mob is really nice. Alright, uh should be the middle right there. Twelve thousand. I assume yeah, no, the chest is not gonna respawn that fast. Also Paldium here. I don't know if it's worth collecting all of it though. Awful lot of Paldium to collect. So it's not like we're just gonna stop needing it at some point, so. And it is more convenient than having to run the mill or the crusher. It's where it takes forever to actually get my pals to focus on the crush on the crusher or the mill. Probably because they're fighting between that and the uh large amount of uh, planting and watering that needs to be done. Uh, nope, not, not that high. Just enough to get up the step. Don't need to fly through there. Okay, it's morning time now. No sneak attack on the boss, but whatever. Oh. A Mao Christ boss. Oh, sneak attack on the boss! Well, I would have actually preferred to not kill that one. But that'll be fine. We'll, we'll work it out. No, get back here. A 
some more. There we go. It's a low 45. I should be using Ultra Spheres. That's only a 7% chance to catch it. Oh, never mind. Apparently that was enough. 70,000 XP. Astagon's halfway to 50. Great. Because if I ever want to breed Astagon, then I he will have the Dark Laser to breed with. Because that's what he gets at 50. Okay. Moment of truth. Pal Metal Helmet Schematic 1. Okay, yeah, that'll be better than my current helmet. And this one. Lightning Bolt Skill Fruit. Yes. And diamonds, which I think are 5,000 gold apiece. So that's really good. Well, I got 20 ore. Not nothing. Uh, I guess I'll just dump all this stuff in. I mean, I have to transfer everything anyways, so I don't really want to bring any, any more back with me than I have to. I also need to have refined ingots enough to make the chests. So I need 20 refined ingots apiece, and I need to have about 6 chests. What, what 120 refined ingots do I need in total? Let's take that home and see if that's enough with what we have at home already, because I know we have at least 60 at home. Oh, there's 50 there. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Okay, 64 total. It's not as much as I'd hoped. We'll just have to go get more. Keys. Actually, can I waste these? Not waste them. Can I use them up? No, they're not listening to thinning of the veil. Thank you very much. No Halloween music right now. I still don't know which which song it is that just randomly starts screaming, so I'm trying to avoid the Halloween music. I just know one of them randomly has a scream in it, which always gets me. Holy shit, I didn't realize we had 214,000 gold. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh... Hmm... Our best bet is going to be to just go get more ore. We just need more. That is that. We need more ore. Do we have any ore over here, though? No, Desolate Church isn't back yet. So we have the uh, Cinemoth Forest, but it is a bit of a ways between the waypoint and the off and the ore. We have the deep bamboo thicket with the beacon boss area, which has tons of ore, but that's also far. That is like mountains in between, which sucks. I don't think there's much ore around here. There is the ore here. I'll go to the Ancient Civilization Ruins. That's will be my best bet, probably. Bit of an annoying walk, but whatever. Oh, shit. I don't have my, my heat gear because I took it off. Because it's like, why do I need heat gear? I'm in the frosty place. Cold biome, right. That's, that's what it is. Not frosty place. <laughs> no. Bye. Thank you. Teleport before I freeze to death. Okay. I don't think we're going to have enough ore for what we're doing.
Okay, I just happened to look over at Discord. I get the notifications about uh, what's happening in Path of Exile. And there are some very interesting things happening right now from the looks of it. It seems like Necropolis is going to be one of the biggest, like, most important expansions. Just in general. I'm looking over at it. Stack decks and diviners, strong boxes no longer drop divination cards for boss exclusive uniques. I genuinely actually don't know how that affects the game. Uh, but the more interesting one is there is an automation uh, support gem. It's just called automation. And it, it allows you to automate instant skills, as well as Call to Arms has been changed so that it now allows you to uh, automate war cries. I don't know what the difference is going to be between that and just doing it automatically. I assume it'll be worse than than self-casting, but that is kind of cool. I think at some point they're like, well, people want to automate this stuff anyways, we might as well just let them, like, they're going to find some way to do it. So that's really cool, and probably will bring out a lot of interesting build crafting options. And I just noticed something else that just came out about it. It's really fun. You can now exchange Uber Elder Fragments at a hoarder crafting station, so you can swap them for uh, the ones you don't have, which is good. Because it's not uncommon to get 12 of the same thing. <laughs> and also, Maven's invitations no longer drop. Beric will give them to you when you're ready to visit Maven's Arena. That's interesting. It means we won't have to worry about constantly having, like, this store of just invitations that we can use whenever, if we ever use them. That's that just streamlines an otherwise kind of pointlessly annoying system. That, that is basically everything that they're doing, is they're just streamlining one thing after another, after another, after another. It is amazing. I could not possibly be happier with that. So good. So give me 150. And while that's cooking, I'm going to finish off collecting the metal around here, because we didn't actually go to the metal section. We just went to the uh, various random ore areas, ore rocks. Here are all the metals. Oh, and there's a dungeon open. Okay, dungeon first. Always dungeon first. We want to make sure we close the dungeons as quickly as possible so that they can reopen as quickly as possible. Oh, there's another less bunk I didn't even see. Okay. This... What is this? Is this ore? Or is this just normal rock? I can't tell. That's sulfur. Oh. Weird. Oh, because this is a volcanic area. Hello, Crusher. My goat has some things for you. Ow. Goat him! Get him in the butt! It doesn't look like he got vaporized. Also, killing the uh, syndicate people in the uh, in the uh, hot dungeons is really good. They drop megaspheres and gigaspheres. So nice. Okay, that turns. That's that's probably the right way. I'll go get the chest that's over here. Wait, no, I'm not because. 
Level 40 dungeons, for whatever reason, are silver key areas, not gold key areas, which is stupid. I shouldn't have chosen to get off my my horse there. There we go. Oh, I picked up assault rifle ammo. Nice. Zod spike. Didn't really need to kill them, but it's good XP. Hello? Ow. Nope. You're not nightmare balling me, thank you very much. Silver key chest. Oh, there's another crusher right there. I didn't even notice that immediately. Or when I walked in here, I mean. Give me more Gigaspheres. Okay, and we get a... Cognito. Nope. Oh no, the Cognitos are burning. Oh no, they're all running around burning! <laughs> Oh no, that was burning the lava down there. The others are all like, we're burning, but we can't, we want to help. Oh no, that was on fire now too. <laughs> this is awful. Oh no. Oh. They're silly. Yeah, I guess fried chicken. Okay, well, I'm gonna reset them. Because I would ideally like to get something that I don't have. Can I Cloud Tempest without burning myself? No. The answer is no. Budlers, which are also burning to death. This... <laughs> this is not a very good system, I have to say. Well, I can get you some fried uh, cognito if you'd like. <laughs> Where did the cognitos die? Their drops should still be here, too. There's probably drops in the lava right now. I'm not going down there. Yeah, some fried chicken would be nice right now. Okay, what do you got? Okay, a normal here is an undershirt. That's useless. And iceberg. Okay, that was worthless. Ah, uh, whatever. Not every... Not every dungeon run is going to yield something amazing. Unfortunately, low 40 dungeons are just not good enough to get anything decent. Like, I don't really have very much good luck with them, I find. Which is stupid, because I feel like you should be able to get at least rare gear from a level 40 dungeon. And, like, we just got a bunch of common gear. That's kind of stupid.
I was a bad bond and made some bacon pancakes the first time. Wait, why is why are bacon pancakes bad? That that sounds amazing. Are you bad because you're not cherry? <laughs> Oh. As I said before, you have no responsibility to be here. <laughs> I just appreciate your help when you are here. So don't worry, you're good. If I was going to expect you to be here, I would probably want to at least pay you for that, because, I mean... Otherwise, it seems kind of stupid. I do eventually, like, I do hope that one day I'll be well off enough that I'll be able to, like, actually pay mods. That'd be nice. Because all good work deserves good pay. I come from a family of entrepreneurs, and that's what I was taught always growing up. Good work deserves good pay. If someone does good work for you, you pay them well. So they come back and do good more good work for you. It saves you money in the long run, even if you pay them twice as much as, the, as another person. They're much, much less likely to fuck up or screw you over. Okay, now to very slowly head towards the waypoint. Actually, let me just drop all that for a second. Here's the chest. Chest, 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 chest. Oh, it's a purple chest, darn it. Ring. Gold chests are the worst. Purple's the second uh, tier. And then red is the third tier, and red requires the keys. Okay. Ton of refined ingots, and let's make some more ingots too. Did not need that many things on me at this at that one time. Is there anything in this? Oh, this chest is like full. Let's bring this upstairs then. We actually probably have a bunch of eggs to open up right now. Okay. Okay, so we have a ton of huge dark eggs, which is Astagon and Warsect. So, I'm actually going to explain how breeding works now, for those who are not aware. 
Oh, it, I got a menace sting from... Yes! Oh my gosh, that is really, really good. That is a really, really, really just nice surprise. Okay, so these are all menace stings then. That's great. So, the way breeding works is every single pal in this game, no matter which pal it is, from legendaries to lambos, all have a breeding value. That breeding value is what you take when you have the two parents. You take the breeding value of one, let's say lambo's 10, and let's say menacing is 110. You average those two values out, and that makes 60. Whatever pal has the breeding value of 60 is the one that you get. So let's say that that's a Capriti. So you'll always get that. Well, let's say that you have uh, a uh, Fox Parks, which is breeding value of 30. Uh, just as an example, this isn't the real number. Uh, and you have a deer, one of the Urkel deers, which is a breeding power, let's say it's a 90. That also equals 60. So that will also get you the Capriti as well. They'll have the exact same children because of it. So they, have, they uh, make the same breeding value. So there's multiple ways to get to any one thing you want to get to, which is amazing. I love that system. And it also means that uh, you can shift things around a whole lot with... Um, you can shift around passive skills from just about like any pal to any other pal. With as long as the pal that they're shifting it to is less rare than the pal you're using. Because legendaries have like a very high value, for example. Which means that you won't be able to create them without using other legendaries. Because you can't, because the average value will not be high enough. Anyways, there are calculators online that, that give you the exact number of what you can get from basically anything, as well as calculators that explain, um, like, every single pal you could use to get one particular thing. And the more rare that something gets, the less pal combinations there are that will make it. But let's say you want to make a Kremis, for example, because Kremis seems to be our mascot. Uh, there is... I, I checked it the other day. I think there's, like, 40 or 50 different combinations that could all get a Kremis, because... You just need to find any pals with numbers that average into the breeding value of the Kremis. So, the less rare it is, the more likely you can transfer stuff to it. You can also transfer passive skills. So, by passive skills, I mean like these. So, if you have really good passive skills, like, for example, if you have an Anubis, and you have Earth Emperor, which increases Earth Attack damage, which you can only get from Anubis, you can breathe that... Onto another pal, let's say a Dig Toys. And then all of Dig Toys' abilities are 20% increased damage. Let's say the other parent has Ferocious, so in 20% increased attack, you could get Earth Emperor and Ferocious. For example, you can move all you can move all the different passive skills around, and the same thing with Lucky. You can't make something lucky, but you can take the lucky trait and move it. Like, for example, this Lambo would be good for breeding, because you can move Musclehead, which is attack, and Lucky, which is attack, and use those with, let's say, Ferocious Earth Emperor, um, Anubis, for example. And then if, you, then if you get really lucky, you'll get a Lucky Musclehead Ferocious Earth Emperor, whatever pal it is, for example. And, like, that's, that's hard to get all four things to transfer, because it will just fill space, and will give you random shit, but it is cool. Plus, it also has the ability to transfer one skill from one of the parents. So, let's say that uh, we use one of, these, um, one of these luckies that has like a special skill, for example. There's one that's actually interesting. 
Okay, so Gobfin here has Dragon Meteor, among its other things. If we were to use Gobfin specifically to this Gobfin to uh, breed the Lucky Trait, we also have the, trans the possibility of transferring Dragon Meteor as well. So you can get, let's say, a Dragon Meteor on a Kremis. Just like, yeah. I mean, you can also use Skill Fruits, but like this way costs nothing. Except for a cake. We'll be rebuilding our breeding supplies soon. Actually, we probably should have our breeding stuff working while we're doing all of this. It just occurred to me that maybe that would be a good idea. Um, if, uh, if you need any help finding out how to breed something, you can look at game8.co website. Just search uh, Palworld Breeding Calculator, and I find that their breeding calculator is really good. So I want a very specific pal that I want to breed. I'd ideally like to make a Lilene. Lilene is the harvest goddess. You can make her by crossing Mossanda and Vitalia. Okay. Let's see. Do I have... Both of those things. I mean, I'm sure I do, but do I have decent ones is the question. Because ideally, I'd like to transfer skills that are not ass. Okay, I have one Battaglia with heated body. Decreased incoming ice damage. That's, that's not bad, but that's not really what I want to transfer per se. But I mean... You, sometimes it's just better to have the PAL than it is to have a good version. Because, like, they can also get random stuff, too. Which, and those random ones can be better. Oh, that's... <sighs> Asakist is increased defense, reduced attack. Nimble's 10% increased movement speed. And Zen Mine is decreased, or... Oh, it's neutral damage. Yeah. <sighs> um... I guess Nimble would be the least bad. Okay, so I'm going to use this Mossanda and the other one to make a Lilene. And we'll try to breed, like, a really nice Lilene out of it if we can. This is not where I meant to go. Do we have any skill fruits here, though? I should might as well check while I'm here. Yes, we do! Hydro laser! Load... And tornado, Ooh, good. Good pulls. You can also use skill fruits to uh, put good skills on pals, and then breed those pals to give those skill fruits to other things. Basically, using the same skill fruit multiple times. That was weird. Look at. Look at the hay over there that's in the breeding area. It's like lava. Or spaghetti. But if you go closer, it turns back into hay. That's so weird. This game is so weird. Okay. Okay, Patalia. And Mossanda. Here. There you go. Thank you, Patalia. I appreciate you helping, but I need you to go uh do unspeakable things to that panda. Okay? Okay, have fun. So much money.
My frame rate's chugging a little bit because of how much shit is on the ground. No! No. <laughs> Don't fall off. That was that was ten thousand gold. Good, good. Certainly am happy with that. So much milk on me. I'm so full of milk. I have over four hundred pounds of milk on me. So very milk. At some point, I need to come back here and, and give all of my pals uh, better beds. You're still working on those refined ingots? Oh, you did all of the other ingots first, that's why. stuff. I can make... S I have 95 cakes waiting for me. I can make 46 more. And I have... I don't remember how many I have made, but they're all at the other place right now. Okay, well, I'm going to be pumping out Lilene's over there, so that'll be useful. The Lilians are going to replace the Bron Cherries, so this play and the Malsandas, so this will be a lot less hectic of an area soon. Well, I mean, we're going to be moving entirely, but besides that. What the fuck is going. is this shit? Don't. No, I don't need to hear weird, obsessive songs about quote unquote love. Thank you very much. Reminder when you have a partner, you do not own them. Or are they required to do anything for you in specific? Necessarily. They're their own person. Okay. Eh. Eh. Okay, good. Of the fragment. Cool. Okay, that's closed. Good. Good, good. Okay, so we are going to need to put a bunch of refined chests down now. Okay, so first refined chest will be our just natural resources chest. How I like to define it. And we're going to have our pal resources chest. Oh, and I need a ton of nails here. How many nails do I need per? 20 nails per, so I need another 100 nails. Okay, I have a lot of nails already, that's good. Man, I'm really nailing it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm going up. 
I'm not used to having a base at the top of the map. Feels weird. Actually, I should get some pals out that actually can work on things for me. That would be useful. Plus, need food. I don't have food for them yet. Uh, okay, well, that's a small amount of food, but it's something. Okay, who's fast at any work? I mean, I have my Anubis. That does work, but I was really hoping to get, like, something else. I'm not having Lavander run around. They, they can die in a fire. There we go. Oh, right, you're sleepy, because it's nighttime. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, in fact. Okay. I think should I should I send all of my pals into the box to do that? I mean, I am moving everything. I mean, I I can let them work for a little while longer. Oh, and I can rescue Ragnarok wherever he is. Okay. We have some work speed food here. That's good. Oh, I forgot to move the torches. Oh, well. Okay, so... I'm going to put this in the corner over here. Put this part way in between. And I want another one here. Another one there. I guess another one like here ish. That should be fine. Where is everyone? Wait, Anubis is work? Where's Anubis? How oh, is Anubis working? Okay, well, this one's up here for some reason. It's a good thing my pals are smart. Uh -huh. Or I'd have to be really worried. Well, okay. Anubis... Wait. Where is Anubis? Anubis isn't working on any of this stuff. Where is he? Anubis! It fucking work. Uh, do you mean... Uh, Lightyear Frontier or Pal World? Lunara says, can you please, like, do something useful? Yeah, go, go work. Don't idle. There's a lot of work for you to do. Okay, so all the chests have been placed now. So I can grab all of this shit and put it in places. All 10,000 pounds of it. <laughs> so 
Okay. Everyone move, please. Thank you. And the good thing is you can access just through walls. Make this a bit easier. Diamonds in there. Field fruits. Schematics. Uh, weapons and tools. This will be equipment. There we go. Did I? I give them the lettuce, right? Not lettuce. Salad. Well, it would be really hard to control them. I kind of wish you could get them to eat out of the fridge so that the food wouldn't spoil as quickly. Oh, I guess it's not going to spoil that quickly anyways, because they'll be eating it. That's true. Okay. Let me get rid of all of this crap so I don't have to worry about it. I don't want to transfer the stuff that I'm going to sell to another place. Seems stupid. Oh, I missed. Crap. 27,000 worth. Nice. What do you sell again? Okay. You do sell the makeshift handgun. Actually, I'm going to get the makeshift handgun. It's, a, it's very expensive for what it is, but it doesn't really matter because it's saving me tech points by buying it here. I'm going to spend 150,000 golds on ammo. Oh, I have a lot of ammo now. Anyways, makeshift ammo, or makeshift, uh, the makeshift handgun's really good. Because you can use really, really cheap ammo. Because it's just. It's just coarse ammo, and you get coarse ammo constantly every time you kill, like, pretty much any Syndicate people anywhere besides the high-level areas. So I'm sure I have a ton of ammo elsewhere. At the other base. Okay. Back we go. Wait! Oh my gosh, we have a Monsanto that's Burly Body Artisan. Shit, I should put that... I, that's the one I need to be, be working with. That's the one I need to be breeding with. I totally forgot to even check the things that I had out. Okay, I'm going to swap, y'all. And I know I'm burning to death, but that's okay. Nice, you need to burn to death for the things you love. I'm kidding, don't do that. Okay, you. Make something good for me, please. I don't really appreciate the fact that sometimes it's just like... You know what? I'm going to leave the breeding area and I'm just going to wander off somewhere. Just for no apparent reason. <laughs> it's 
like, no, please. Why are you up here? Ugh. Dumb creatures. Might as well move the uh, incubators down here. Seeing as this area is not going to get be used anymore. And I'll be taking apart the house soon anyways. Ah. Uh, no. no. Why must the grappling hook suck? Grab some ancient set parts too. Oh, I can't. I can't even put it in my inventory and take it out again to refresh the cooldown because there's, I have no space. That move stuff. Yeah, that's hard to. There we go. There we go. Next area. This one. That's yeah, all the PAL stuff. My least favorite pal, Lavander. <laughs> no contest! This, this abomination here. This is my least favorite pal, is, is the fuck lizard. Oh god. No lizard mommy. At least the last one Pokemon, like, actually, yes, yes, she does bad things to people. I am, I'm aware that it is really bad. She does bad, unpleasant things to people. Night, Barrow. Some of this stuff is in the wrong thing. Wait, why do I have rifle ammo on me? I don't have my rifle on me. That's a unfortunate waste. God, I hate Lavender so much! Uh, it just, it makes me so uncomfortable, like Jinx. Especially when they run at you. That is the worst. Like, it's very obvious they're a predator. Very predatory. Oh. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put random antique side table here because this is eventually where I'll put the the uh, bedroom area. Okay, put the copper keys away and most of the fire arrows. Not the skill fruit area. This is okay. All of the equipables. And then skill fruit, and then we can put our recipes in there. And we can put the grenades in with the ammunition. All this. No! No other way! Oh, they definitely knew what they were doing. I, like, I, I cannot... I can't get past the thought that, like... I feel like it's actually meant to be, like... Sexy to someone. And, like... You know what? If that's what you're into, okay, that's fine. Like, everyone's into whatever they're into. And I, I certainly not... I should not judge. Um... She just terrifies me, though. Like what you like, but I I feel terror when I see her. <laughs> She's very uncomfortable. Oh yeah, the like uh enraged fangirls or whatever it is for crazed fangirls it is really terrifying because usually it's like a group of level 40s running at you oh yeah definitely it is the worst Uh, it used to be frosting, um, quivering. This is vanilla frosting. I, I like his, I like their eyes, they're very pretty. Um. Part of me is starting to feel like Kremis because of a certain someone. Oh, I know really likes Kremis. But I don't think that's really my pick. I think I kind of have to pick Catrice. Because Black Cat, Catrice. I really like Lunaris. They're beautiful. But Catrice is very much my aesthetic anyways. It's hard to pick something besides Catrice. I will say one that I have definitely an emotional attachment to, though, is uh, Relaxosaurus Lux. I have one named Jellybean in my uh, personal game, and he's just like this big, squishy, lovable creature. I just, I love him so much. I love his little Mohawk. He is a good boy. He deserves all the love. And premium food. That is the worst spot you could have stood. Uh, look at the stream for a second, if you can. This is what he looks like. Also, he's like twice the height of a Mamorest. Like, he's massive. He towers over you. I like the like the gecko spots on his back too, which is kind of cute. 
One day, Relaxosaurus had an idea. Maybe it was about time for a change. Just then, an electric shock raced through its body. Oh, no, no worries. If, if you want to get him, there's a, uh, there's a sealed realm of the thunder dragon, right? Or the sealed realm of the thunder dragon is like over here and you can just like get them whenever you want. I think it's the only place you can get them from besides breeding. It's near the Ascetic Falls and like the Fangalope and Broncherry Aqua and all that. When you hit level 46, you can get his missile backpack for if you want to shower m people with missiles, which is fun. The only issue is that he is, a, like, like Mossanda, he has a tendency to send people into walls with his missiles. And also the missiles are, are like, quote-unquote seeking. Which means that they just go whatever direction they feel like. <laughs> Which in this game is not a good thing. <laughs> because the AI certainly does not know where to put things. Do I? I don't... I don't know if I have the... Thing yet. The uh, backpack. I know I don't have his backpack yet. Do I have the other basic one? No, I don't. Okay. I can I can show you mine though. He's so big and squishy. And when he picks something up, you can kind of see it now. He picks it up in his mouth and uses that to transform it. <laughs> He's like, a tra I think he's like transporting level one or something. It's very hard to see. Um, and that's because, yeah, he's fucking huge. I mean, that's Wumpo, and Wumpo's massive. Okay. Nightbot, rude. You might want to try that without the caps. I I believe that your caps are justified. I do. But you might want to try without the caps. Yeah. Oh, he's just... He's got, like, big, cuddly bear energy. I love him. Skittle fruit. Yes, except for he's much bigger than that. <laughs> okay, this is a boss memorest here. So the biggest memorest you can get. This is Relaxosaurus Lux beside it. Even the boss memorest is not tall enough to uh, match Relaxosaurus's size. And I think Relaxosaurus is actually about the same length, too. Yeah. So, to be fair, Relaxosaurus Lux, this is a boss. This one. Because I don't know... Besides breeding, I don't know if you can get them that are not bosses. Oh, wait. I have a great idea. Oh, I can only have two of them. 
I just want to fill the entire base with them for like a little while and just have like a ton of them wandering around. They're as big. Oh my gosh, the two of those together are as big as that as the uh, buildings I built for my eggs. Like between like their mohawks and like their tail length. Yeah, like look at look at them compared to the size of the building. <laughs> I love them. They're so good. Unfortunate, I am very low on ingots. Die. I need to do something about that. Okay. We are going to shut down this base now. It's time. Okay, base shut down. Oh, we need to move the, uh, um, the viewers. Uh, okay, I'll put them in there. I'm gonna have to put you in the box for a moment, Swift. Bear with me. <laughs> Okay, let's bring you back out. Lot, lots more room for a viewing cage now here, I think, too. Yeah. Also, we built within the range of the banks. Meh, meh, meh. Okay. Pyro and Swift. And Hamburg Killer, and Han Canole, and Oxman seven zero seven seven. Got everyone out there. Yeah. Reminder to anyone: if anyone else is watching who does not currently have a pal in the, our world, if you speak up in chat, you can get a pal named after you. If you are watching this on YouTube, you can come to the Twitch chat and get your your get a pal named after you as well. One of your choice. As long as it doesn't already have a name. Like I'm I'm Frosting is is Frosting. I'm not renaming them. For example. Okay. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm disassembling the other base. I need some of the wool from over here. Or not the wool, the, um... Uh... Cloth. So I can... Have some more... Make some more beds over at the other place. Hi! <laughs> They're not convenient to have around, I will say that, but they are adorable. Okay, now I can put down the last bit of uh, pal beds. Fluffy pal bed, uh... Fluffy pal bed, uh, fluffy pal bed. Okay, and that is all 20. Man, the AI in this game is not amazing. <laughs> oh, wait, why is it facing that direction? 
Are they just facing random directions, maybe? I don't know. Or, no. I wonder where the closest dungeon is from here. I haven't been put in the cage for crimes. They're there to, to display them. It's possible you haven't been moving around enough. You can get pretty cold just, like, not moving. Because your body ends up to rest, it, like, starts to reach the resting temperature of the room. Or at least, like, some half, some part way between that and your body temperature. I will put you in there, Ron. Don't, don't test me. I will put you in there with the criminals. need to harvest this stuff before I can destroy it. Otherwise, it's not... Otherwise, I'm going to lose it, I think. I assume. Okay, I have... How many tomatoes do I have? I have 60 tomatoes on me. You know, it just destroys it. I got my sweet dance moves. So much lettuce. Okay. I'm gonna move the fridge. Oh shit. <laughs> Didn't consider that I might not have enough room for all the food. Uh, okay, let's drop some random shit. No, nope, actually I can feed that. Feed that. Enough? I think it's enough. Yeah, I'm completely dismantling the old base. I guess I can leave the structure there. I don't have to dismantle the structure necessarily.
Have you gotten sentimental about uh, our house? Because, I mean, I do like it, too. And the good thing is, since I do have structure decay off, it will stay here. Oh, the hell Zephyr over there? I should probably go catch that. Two thousand pounds of lettuce. My gosh. There we go. Wait, I didn't have any Hell's Zephyrs yet? Seriously? A waste. Need more of those. Do I have enough Gale Claws? Well, I haven't murdered enough Gale Claws, I will say that. So they actually are kind of useful now that I've learned how to use their uh, their ability, their uh, hang glider ability. Didn't really understand the point of it until I realized that it is like dramatically better than the highest tier hang glider you can get. Oh, there's still Skillfers left in here. Oops. Oh, wait, I should dismantle the garden, too, because the garden's really expensive. So many fla beautiful flowers. I guess not that expensive, like, in the long term. Like, I can get more beautiful flowers. They're just annoying. They only come from the wildlife sanctuaries and the occasional gamos that decides to drop them. Oh, I can just... no. I need to move that. I can put it against this wall instead. To keep it away from the door as much as possible. I don't have to keep it so far away from the wall. Can y'all get out, please? Like, I appreciate it, I do, but get the hell out. <laughs> nope. Nope. Alien Yeet. This one I can put way close to the wall. Yes. Yeah. 
Weird game. Now you can come in and help me. Egg is very cold. Not for long! Wait, actually I have a better solution. This place is small enough that I might be able to heat the entirety of it with one, like, campfires in one area only. Can I put, like, multiple together here? I can. This is going to be the warm area, I guess. Yeah, now this is very comfortable. Okay, get mine there. And here still? Yeah. Good. Might need to take one of the four campfires away, but... I wish I could turn the campfires off, like, just don't, like, just unlight it. Nope, not you. Okay, does this still work? Yep. All of these seem to be happy. Okay, good, good. Here's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a barrel here in the corner, which I can put extra eggs in. Oh, and no, I'm going to put a bigger in the corner than a barrel, apparently. Oh, well, that'll have to do. I don't think I'm going to have many eggs that'll be waiting, based on the size of uh, this area to be. No. I need to go from the other side. I need y'all to move, please. <laughs> Come on, spark it. Whatever, this is just gonna only be three here. Is this too much? No, not too much. But here. Okay, no, it's fine. I'll put some more up here soon, uh, but not yet. Actually, I'm going to try putting one up here really quick. Just because I want to know how far the heat goes. If, that, if those four campfires will be enough to heat the entire thing, that would be ideal. Oh yeah, that's enough. Interesting. And there's this place, which 
might actually be too cold for the cold eggs, come to think of it. Because for some reason, frozen eggs can get too cold. Despite the fact that freezing temperatures is, in fact, in their name. So that's a thing, apparently. I'll put one in here for now. See if it needs any more. There we go. In the very corner, I'm going to put a wooden box again. Just like the other one. This will hold extra eggs. Actually, I'm going to close the door so they don't get in. I want to finish placing the incubators before they go build them all, because... A, I want to make sure the spacing is right, and B, I really just want them to let me finish building them and not have to be constantly waiting for them to get the fuck out of my way. There we go. Everyone come inside. There's an incubator for everyone to build. Okay, we will see how well this this building works now for building. No, wrong button. I was like, yeah, yes, put all in chest. Take all from inventory. No, take all is take all from chest. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay. Now we are going to make... Here. Okay, I hope I can put this, this wall back. But I need it out of the way so I can actually fucking see what's going on. Is that reasonable? Is this, like, merging into the wall at all? No, it looks good. Okay. Please, please, wall. Please go back. Okay, good. Really, I should have my Penance of Diligence on. I don't know why I don't. It's kind of stupid. But I can make this a lot faster. I'm just giving myself a bunch of extra work speed. Ugh. Creepy song. Just like a quietly whispered, you will never be alone. Like, no! No, I do- I do not like that! I like being alone occasionally. I mean, I- I prefer being around people generally, but... Uh, no. Leave me alone! Hey, does that work? That's on an angle. Think that's equal? It's still not totally I'm gonna try to I wanna try to put its feet on the edge of the block. Each of its feet. Please tell me this right. Uh nope, that's on an angle. 
gosh darn it! I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Like that. Slightly on an angle. I don't care. Oh, okay. That's my sphere workbench done. Okay. Now, get rid of the torches, because these weren't actually supposed to stay here. Why do the torches require wood and stone? Doesn't make much sense. It'd make more sense if they required wood and fiber, not stone. Oh god, not again. Okay, gonna have to walk outside to, to place this inside. <laughs> why did they get to place them so far away from you? I don't understand why that's just a thing. I, okay, I need to take out this wall, too. I cannot see it. That's actually, like, really... really accurate, I think. Supposed to be. idea. Bye. Oh right, you can't put you can't put wedges upside down. I hate that. I wish you could. Well, what you can do is this. Kind of cool. Door here. This is my little balcony. Wait, why are you up here? The Anubis being strange. Good. We just need. We just need ingots again. Wait, hold on a second. I keep ingots in a separate area. I forgot about that. Keep them here. Oh, good. I have so many ingots. Okay. I'm glad that I don't have to worry too much. I'm gonna take my various cooking things and bring them with me. I think I still have room in them. Very good. There.
Still more stuff to dismantle here, but I mainly need uh, the ingots right now, so I'll just go with that. I'll be fine for what I have and need. Supposed to be in there. Cakes can go in here. Speaking of which, I need a uh, bridge back out. Well, the boss Lunaris versus the normal Lunaris have like are a massive size difference. They look like babies by comparison, the normal ones. Well, we should also go grab our eggs now. There should be a ton of eggs waiting for us. What? There aren't? None of the eggs are used. Uh oh. Okay. Um... I always forget that gay sex doesn't yield children. Okay, so that's a problem. Uh, I need a Patalia. You know what? I think I need to go get a new Patalia. Because my current Patalia... I... Ideally, I'd like a pink Patalia. Or a, a female one. I, I hate calling it female. Pink one. Why did you have to absolutely destroy that Cinemoth? That was completely uncalled for. Has to go on. Thankfully, has to go on at the level where it doesn't really matter whether he's the right. Type or not, he just he's just strong enough at this point that he can just murder anything. Okay, you're coming back. That should be good enough. Nope. Vanguard! Okay. That's nice. Wait, is that a pink one or a blue one? Shit, I didn't check. Actually, I don't even know if it tells you. Okay, well, let's go find out if it's pink or blue. It is a blue one. Damn it. Do I have... Please tell me I have a pink panda. I need a pink panda. I have, I have my zen... My Zen mind is a pink panda. Yeah, I'll just go with the Zen mind one. Okay. Okay. Pink. 
And where are you, Patalia? Wait, why are you upset? Oh, your sanity's not amazing. I think she's mad because... I don't know. She's tired. Been stood up too much. Maybe they weren't compatible lovers. Yeah, that's the problem. Let's have some... Bring some salad over. I think they'll like salad. It'll increase their work speed. I should also, like, actually wear my armor that prevents me from getting murdered by the heat. A bit too warm there for me to just tank it constantly. Already at half health. God damn it! I'm freezing here. I need okay. I need to get a cooler at here and a heater at the other base. Okay. You happy? You're happy. Talia, I'm here to help. Yay, you're happy. Okay. Come here, Patalia. I hope you're by because the gay sex is over. You have a pink panda now instead of a blue one. Good luck. Please bring me egg. I need egg. There's some easy way to pick up all this shit, because my my van worms are not fast enough to keep up with the deluge of coins and shit on the ground. Wait, I can use my mount for this at least. That'll help. I can just pick up the bulk of it and leave the van worms to do the rest. More eggs and milk. Okay, what am I missing here? I didn't turn the power on yet. That's I do need that to happen. Uh, I need to dismantle these saunas so that I can have the their stuff back. A lot of concrete to not do. Flame cauldron. Oh, there's also 2100 wheat here that I need. Don't want to forget that. <laughs> Random. My medicine bench. Yeah, well, I won't be able to leave the... The condenser will explode once I remove the PAL box. So will the statue power, so those need to go. Okay, those were picked up. I'm not going to be bringing eggs over here anymore, so it's done. It looks like we got some eggs ready. So many scorching eggs. Are these just... 
I don't know if these are like eggs we made. No, I don't think these are eggs we made. I think these are just random scorching eggs. Oops, I didn't mean to break the thing under it. Oh. These are all just, like, boring common eggs. I mean, it's good fodder. Oh, I didn't ha I don't have enough hangies apparently, so got those. Nightwing, uh and either a cap and a caperty or a lift monk. Egar, nice. Caperty? Yep, Caperty. <laughs> Vanguard Musclehead, I could actually use that for breeding. Ampeg uh Vanguard Pangolet. Vanguard Pinglet says, actually sounds really good. Rocious Cognito. Yeah, Vanguard Pinglet might actually increase the damage you deal with the Pinglet rocket launcher. Seeing as... I don't actually know, like, what the... Like, where the damage is, like, comes from when it when it's the, uh... When it's that stuff. Wait, why are these a bit hot? Because of what? There's no... No more heat left in here. Unless there's something up here. Mm, I don't see anything up here. Yeah, I don't know why they're hot, then. It, there's no campfires around here. Oh, shit. I didn't mean that. Okay, well, we're going through the floor, then. Okay, those verdant eggs are still working. That makes sense. I don't know if there's much else downstairs that... Oh, I should probably take the chan chandeliers with me. Thing is, they're 10 ingots, 2 electrical organs, and 2 nails apiece. That's kind of expensive to just not take with me. No, damn it. Sometimes the grapple hook does not pick you up enough, and sometimes it just no is nowhere near high enough. Or sorry, sometimes it's 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 not high enough, and sometimes it's like way too high. It's so hard to find a happy medium. Oh no. Well, you fell into our stream. Near. That is a lot of ingots. <laughs> Look at Gamos! Look at Gamos just like through the window. <laughs> I just, I didn't recognize what it was initially. I was like, what the hell is that? Just giant tongue and beady little eyes. Wait, no. Oh god, these are getting mixed up. Oh, please don't.
The boss is pretty great. Ugh. I have 3,200 wheat that I haven't prog progressed, haven't um, processed yet. That's a lot. I'm not going to pass the night yet. I would rather... I want to see what this, this place is like at night, ideally. Or is it already daytime? Oh, it's about to turn night. Okay, good. That is ideal for me. Oh shit, it's really cold here at night. Right, 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 okay. Cool, I am good now. I need someone to heat up the area. Okay, Grimjow, all yours. Oh. Right. It is too dark for them to do anything. Forgot. That there. That there. Put out our electric kitchen. Electric kitchen. Ooh, ooh. The moss is great. Okay. Wall lamp. Oh. Hmm. If this... Oops. Put that back. This remains a window wall. I will not be able to put the chandelier on it, or the wall lamp on it. Be a problem. Okay, so that will light up in the day. Okay. I actually I need to pass the night actually so that I can actually see what's going on. It does have a very cute beanie. For the moment, I will put that there. Little roof over. Oh, right. Nothing can go in this spot. I forgot. Okay, you're going there for a second. Right, I need a roof. Now that I've dismantled everything, I have over 500 ingots just waiting for me to do whatever with. That's kind of nice. What are you doing, Anubis? Oh, it's probably because I was in bed that it got confused. Okay, keep working while I do this, please. Okay. I'm going to put... the bed here. Uh... Why does it just let you put it randomly into the wall? Okay. Okay, going to make a stone or metal door. Okay. 
I kind of want to make this out of something that's not metal. Because it looks like I'm in jail. And I don't like that. I'm going to try stone. At least stone looks kind of nice and rustic. How... I guess whatever's in my, my bedroom isn't all that important, so if I lose stuff, I lose stuff. I'll, put, I'll make it out of wood so it looks... Hmm. I don't know. Hard to make it look nice. Okay. We're going to put an antique chest here. And we're going to put a big shelf up. What else can we put here? Oh yeah, bookshelves are a pain to place, I forgot. I'm not doing that. You know what? The, the toolbox is kind of makes a little bit of sense. In like the home E area, so you know what? I'm gonna put that there. Once I might put it in a spot that's as close to the wall as humanly possible. That's better. Maybe it's not a perfect spot to put the toolbox, but like there there's a lot of weird things in this game just that you it's not like a perfect spot to put it anyways, so Okay, bunch of fire arrows, copper keys, and most of my pal spheres. I don't really want to... Hmm. I don't like dumping my gear, but I also... Like, I don't want to, like, burn to death or freeze to death suddenly, but... I also need space to do things in my inventory. Hi, Grisbolt. Are you actually making... electricity, or are you just d standing there dumb? No, you're actually making electricity. Okay, that's good. Okay, and I'm going to put a chandelier in here. Uh, it's four wide, this area. Four by three, so I guess I'll put it right there. I don't know. How the hell do I build that? Is it the floor? No. How the hell do I build that? Oh, okay. Well, I guess the pals can build it, but I can't. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be enough light. We'll have to see. If I could pick one pal to become a real life creature, what would I pick? Oh man, that is kind of a challenging one. <laughs> uh okay, before I forget, let me just fix this. Then I will put then I can put actual attention to your question. I don't want to give you a half ass half half assed answer. I want to actually like take a moment to think about it. I think that actually looks a lot better. Uh, 
How do we become a real life creature, Kremis? Like, I wouldn't want any of the big, scary ones to become real. Like, that wouldn't be good. I don't want the gods to become real either. But, like, Kremis is adorable and wonderful. No. No. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, okay, well, is, is that your actual answer? Do you actually want a lovander to just be around the corner every once in a while? Like, you just be like, Hi, you're mine now. Do, do, you, do you want that? <laughs> right, who's, that, who's listening and wants to chat? I would love to know what all of yours are. Actually, here's here's the funny answer. Uh, Mazarina, because you can milk both the male and female Mazarinas. I just like the concept that you'll be able to milk bulls for milk in the real world. That just sounds awesome. <laughs> like, really funny and stupid. Uh... Fair. I wonder if either of them are particularly dangerous. I think that's kind of a nice border. I'll think about that. I think it's kind of a nice fence, seeing as we don't have actual fences in this game. Oh no. Bad pug? What's going on? Oh, hello. My manager is telling me that I might need to take a short intermission. And by manager, I mean dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can milk the male Mazarina. And that that's that's not just like an over, that's not an oversight. That's intentional too. One second, Annabelle. We are gonna have an intermission in a second, but I want to pull this up. Milk pours from this pal like water from an open faucet, regardless of its gender. It's truly a mystery of life, although it, this mystery may be better left unsolved. Wait, why are you dumb? Nope, you can milk the males. I have made male mazarina cake. Milk like milk with the, from their from them to into cake. Yummy bull milk. Majority of mazarinas seem to be female. Well, you know for na there. You know next time at least. Okay, I need to go take. I need to go take the manager out for a walk. So we are going to go on a ten minute ish intermission, and then we will be back with more Pal World. Uh, right? Now, right, Annabelle. We'll have more Pal. World. Yeah, we'll finish moving the house. Yeah. Okay. I'll see y'all in 10 minutes.
Barb. And welcome back from break. Thank you for remembering, Swiftbeast. Your message actually was enough to remind me. <laughs> I've restarted the recording. Thank you. I didn't, like, freeze to death or anything while I was AFK. I didn't consider that. Can I not put... No, I can't. I can't believe it, I've just about hit uh, the 300 hour mark in this game. For, like, playtime. It's ridiculous. A lot of playtime. <laughs> for this game already. I mean, it's not like a lot of playtime in, like, the grand scheme of things, but... I mean, this is a good game. Not, not much else I can say about it besides that. It's a good, damn good game. Is that light because it's hitting the metal? Whoa. Oh, that's interesting. I love this game. I guess I'm just going to float like this for a little while. I can stop it anytime I want by hitting control, but, like, it's funny. Oh. Getting up to get the pug. Mm -hmm. Finish your dinner. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get some stuff cooked. Get my Yorman tied out. Oxman, thank you for joining us today. I could use Yorman tied. He's really fast, but he's also really giant and annoying. Oh, nice. Good timing. We've been going about four and a half hours so far, so we'll probably call it in a little while, but we're here for now. We're just building a new base. Okay. 
Okay, let's get the last few things off the old base. Actually, no, let's go pick up the remaining, the new eggs. Because this time, they're actually populating. Yay! They populated a lot. Yes. Yes! Feed me egg. Feed me egg. Come here, Fangalope. Also should harvest all the gold here. Because... <laughs> the Van Worms certainly are not keeping up. Lots of wool. Wait, are you, are they seriously putting it over? Okay, no, they're not putting something over there. We need someone who can transport who's not stupid. Because these birds are real stupid. Why can't Philbat transport? They have hands. Fucking, uh... Relaxosaurus can transport with his mouth. Okay, little shits are useless. I'm gonna workaholic Wumpo out. Please do something useful. Your former compatriots are really stupid. That's interesting. It's actually big enough that it can it doesn't actually have to walk that far to move things. Maybe I should have some bunch of wumpos out. Yeah, put this wumpo out and put this wumpo out. So we're it's wumpos all the way down. Okay, did y'all lay me another egg? Thank you. Okay, still got forty more cake to go. There will be much more caking before before cake is done caking. <laughs> Says the insane person. <laughs> uh. They shall. They will eat lots of cake, and they will use that to reproduce. Okay, which one of these buildings is the warm one? Is this the warm building? Or the cold building? Verdant should be warm. What? Always having cake after sex? Life can be that easy. <laughs> well, I mean... Okay, we got a challenging to make that work, but... Oh god, no, that would be awful in my opinion. I don't I don't want I don't want children just because I eat a cake. Sounds awful. Why can I not place this anywhere? This, this is really weird for some reason. I don't know why it's struggling. Wait, now you're too cold. How are you too cold? Oh! Oh, it's nighttime! That's why! 
My gosh. You'd no, you would have to be mentally with someone for it to work. No, I, s I still don't want that. I prefer being able to fuck strings attached. Or, no, no strings attached, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, the gate, the uh, the uh, frost base gets a bit too cold in the middle of the night for the eggs, but they're all happy now. Okay, so these are all lilines, all eight of them. So, when we come back on Thursday, we will have a bunch of Lilines. Okay, is there anything else I need to move over from the old base before I move the... Whatever it's called. The, uh, PAL box. Oh, whoa. There, I didn't realize there was 19,000 stone here. 20,000 stone. Oh, Jetragon is beyond my ability right now. I I basically gave up on that for now. Uh, I need uh, a strong Ice-type attacker, and I just do not have that yet. Because it's a Dragon-type, so I'm going to need Ice... Do I have everything that I need? I think I have everything I need. Is there anything under here? No, not really. Like, Sybil X is good, but I don't... I don't know, like, like it's... It's just really rough with, like, how powerful Jetragon is. Oh yeah, I had an idea about that! I completely forgot! Um... The, uh, the way I was gonna deal with Jetragon was to get a Frostallion. Which is actually something we could totally work on today. We could make that our last thing to the, this stream, is to get a Frostallion. It'll take a moment to do it, but, like, it'll be worth it. It's still an hour till those are done. Get some eggs done upstairs. Yeah, the remaining incubators up here are done. Wumpo. With Burly Body, that's useful. Van Worm Crisp, not useful. Van Worm Crisp, not a very useful one either. Reptyro Crisp, good. And Cryolinks. Oops, not that. Not the wall. No! Gosh darn it! I'm being stonewalled by this stone wall! Okay, this area is done. I have taken everything out of it that I need. And I can remove the PAL box now. Thank you, base. You have done me many services. 
It's been fun being here. But also, I you've never been raided, because for some reason raids don't work. So, we are going to move to some place that raids hopefully will happen. Also, we'll be beside a dungeon, which would be nice. Really like to get some more dungeon loot, and being beside one is going to be the best way of doing that. Okay. So, if we're going after Frostallion, we're going to need all of our power. Which means we definitely need our fire crossbow. Uh, not the high-end gun. I'll keep the grappling hook. And the, definitely the assault rifle. Uh, should I bring the rifle rifle? It's also shock nades. I'm not really familiar with how to use the grenades. You know what? I'll I'll just I'll bring it and try them. You know what? I'm gonna bring the rifle. I think the rifle will be good. Okay, I have 20 Legendary Spheres, so that would be fine. Uh, for going up against Frostallion, seeing as it's an ice... I think it's just a pure ice type. I know at least it's an ice type. So that means that I... will be bringing my Bushi with me. Bushi, where are you? My max level Bushi. There we are. Okay, not Astagon. Okay, anyone I can dump, I need to dump. So I will just bring frosting with me for movement. Even though frosting is slow as balls. I have, can I get a faster pal for, for flying, please? Uh, I need to find one. What am I talking about? I can breed one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I should seriously breed a faster pal, though, because I am totally capable of that. Silly that I have not. Wait, Frosty is only level one, or or one star. My God, damn it! <laughs> I should okay. I need more quiverns is the problem. That would help a lot. Okay. We'll deal with that later. First of all, let's look at our flame boosters. We have three there. Vanguard, Vanguard, Stronghold Tragist. We'd get another Vanguard if I wanted. Uh Wait, if there's that many, so 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh! That is awesome. I can, I can upgrade this. I just need the, uh, PAL Essence Condenser. Can everyone get out of my way, please? There we go. Okay, so level two, level three, level two. Okay, so you're going to be first in line. There we go. So we now have a level three lava spout. 
um, a level three, level three, um, we have a two star, uh, Kelpsy Ignis, which gives us Lava Spout. We have another two, two star Kelpsy Ignis, and we have a one star Kelpsy Ignis. And we also have Vanguard, Vanguard, Stronghold Strategist b between all of them. So that's good. That is a good start. I need to make sure Bushi doesn't die, though, because I'm really kind of fucked if Bushi dies. Because I have no th nothing else to deal with with uh, the dude. The man. The man with the plan. Or stallion. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. Do I want to bother to find a mount that has something on it? No, whatever. I'll be fine. Okay! Wyvern! So, Frostallion's over here somewhere. We'll find out where he is in a second. So, I'm just gonna go west now. I think that's my best bet. Fly west, young dragon. Fly west. I guess I could have made the new PAL helmet, but that's not a- that wouldn't be a big deal. Hey, that's a- That's a dungeon right there. It's closed, though. And of stamina. Actually, what do you have, Quivern? I'm gonna switch you back to Aqua Burst because you kind of suck otherwise. Okay, you need to use. I guess maybe Ignis Rage, probably. I guess Iagiri, Ignis Rage, and Fireball are probably the best bets. Actually... Hold on a second. Ignis Rage is a 40 second cooldown. Flare Storm's an 18 second cooldown. I'm gonna go to Flare Storm, then. That's much more manageable. Where is his lake? Is this his lake down there? Might be his lake. Nope, that's the wrong lake. That's his lake over there. So are there any dungeons around here? I need to keep watching for dungeons. Dungeon right there. Whee! We are actually close to another boss. There's a, um... You can just barely see it there. There's a cave that, uh... I might as, I might as well unlock it on the map so I can see it. Um, there's someone fun over there. Another level 50 boss. A, uh, a crisp version, so a cold version of a another lovable favorite. That most of you probably don't know exists. This version, I mean. Oh. There's a waypoint right here. I did not remember that existed. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, I'll get that at least. Oh, I don't know why he... There he is. King Paka Christ. So you can get a King Paka that is a cold type. Or an ice type instead of just a neutral type. So if you want to have uh, a large and in charge... Uh, sheep, then and have a large and in charge sheep. I 
think it's over this way. Yeah, the, I can see the spikes there. The ice spikes of his arena. Chest. I tried him in my personal game, but it became very clear pretty quickly that you need to like really prepare. I think it will be a bastard of a time. I'm not sure what you mean. I feel like you're linking you're not linking. I feel like you're referencing something. Also, here's Frostalian. The legendary steed of ice. You have Oh, I didn't didn't give you Flare Storm for some reason. <laughs> ah. Legendary bastard. Okay. It is time to stout no. It is time to stallion. Okay. Grenade. Grenade. Okay, I'm in danger. Ow, I'm in danger. I'm in very danger. Okay, we're definitely doing enough damage. No! 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 Shit, I didn't bring Bushi back fast enough. Ah, uh, No. He was locked in because of Iagiri. That was a really, really dumb move on my part. Well, I mean, okay. Shit happens, but like... That did not end well for me, let's put it that way. Okay, Frost or, or Frosting, can you keep an eye on him for a second? Just so I can help Bushi recover. Oh, Bushi is like really badly hurt. I needed to play better, basically, was is the problem. I thought he was going to attack her again or do something. Yeah, attack me. I need to make sure that it's focusing on me. Ow! No! Okay. I got hit with that at least. I need to set it on fire, specifically. If I set it on fire, it'll start dealing burn damage. I need the burn damage badly. Um, this has stopped feeling like a fight and more like a game with a toddler. Ah, yes. Boss fights in this game. Wait, did I ever give a cheeseburger to Bushi? I don't know. Well, he has one now. Apparently he can't get up here. Well, that's nice. And I guess all of its skills are on cooldown, because it's not attacking me. Or at least the skills that are uh, ranged are on cooldown.
Thank gosh the AI is stupid. I just have to be careful though, because they'll be like... It'll just be stupid for quite a while, and then it'll just like suddenly realize what it's supposed to be doing, and just like come to wreck me. Because all of its its skills are now off cooldown. It's been long enough. So as soon as it starts being intelligent again, I'm in danger. <laughs> Good chance for Bushi to do things. Thing is, it's being stupid. It's so focused on me that it's ignoring him completely. Great. I don't, think I, I don't know if I ever upgraded him. Like, with souls. I should probably do that. Pal souls. Makes me feel like I'm talking about Dark Souls. Oh my gosh, I really hope this thing doesn't get, like, bad passives or something. Because I'm gonna breed it with everything if it doesn't. Like, if it's decent. I probably will still will breed it with an everything regardless. Eh, I should be very careful using Iagiri because it locks me in place. I've actually done a lot of damage to it already. The fire crossbow is not to be underestimated. I should also get a poison crossbow too because I think that would help me. I think my fire, like like the like the burning damage, is actually more than Bushi can do, just on his own. So I need to keep an eye on its health because I need to not kill it. it would really suck if I killed it. Um, you almost helped it get up, Bushi. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Okay. So, um, I I should say at this point, I have changed my my um my mind on spoilers for this game now. Uh, I've gone. I have now reached every island, and I have researched breeding. So I don't really mind if you tell me about breeding combinations now, because I I'm just looking them up anyways. You know what, I'm not going to try it any longer. That's a 20%. That's way more than enough. Okay. Okay. Nope. Got an iceberg off. Wow. It was fast. And legendaries are hard to catch. Got him. Legend Ice Emperor Diet Lover. Holy shit. That's. That is a really. 
I mean, it was gonna have Legend and Ice Emperor no matter what, but Diet Lover was is like another nice little thing too. That's pretty good. Yeah, I get a horse. A good anger horse. Old, old chili horse. I wonder if I can keep this momentum going, seeing as I have the like the right team for it. Um, and just go attack the uh, King Packer Christ because I haven't done that one yet either, and this is the exact team I would want for it. Like the, this, I'm set up exactly how I would want. So I might as well do it while I'm going back because I have enough ammo, not low or anything. Lysus? Oh, like Pegasus. Cute. I want the Jetragon, but I can't be asked to work for it. Well, I mean... Here's the thing. I You can watch me try Frostalion for, for Jetragon and see if you think that it's worth it when you see how I get through it. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. I want to set him on fire. There we go. No! Holy shit! He can iceberg through walls, apparently. Okay, this is a lot less dangerous than the, the Prostallion. <laughs> Kind of expected to be a bit scarier, seeing as it's a level 46 boss, but... Fair enough. I mean, I have the, the exact right team for it, too. So, like, it's not like I'm phoning it in or anything. This is the perfect version. Oh, I didn't expect Bush to do a thousand damage in one shot. Holy shit. Okay, well, that one's dead. <laughs> was incinerated. Oh my gosh, a future, t future tactical manual! Yes! That's perfect! I needed that so badly! Because I need the Iron Gate and Defensive Walls. Wait, hold on a second. Frostalian Saddle. Hmm. Oh, that's a hard decision. Um... No, it's not a hard decision. Frostalian saddle. <laughs> That's kind of sad. I was act I was really hoping to to get one of these though. I mean, it's a boss in the world, which means it'll be back in fifteen minutes anyways. So, yeah, Bushi is incredibly strong. But I guess that was kind of just like a reality check for me because. Like, I that's just how dangerous Frostalian was, because Frostalian is, like, the first legitimate legendary I've caught. Because apparently nothing up until this point has been an actual legendary. So. And I know that because Frostalian has the legendary tag. Wait, I should go home. What am I doing? But yeah, I'm gonna breed horse with people. Everyone is going to fuck this horse. Is there a power world move like false swipe? Oh my god, I wish. I've been thinking of that since, like, day one playing this game. I've killed so many pals. You know what be nice? The Amulet of Impotence. Does not allow you to uh, drop the uh, a pal's health below one percent with without like, um, like with your damage. 
Ah, uh, that sounds fun. I think that would be good. Seems a little bit cold. Well, you are in the Arctic. But you shouldn't be cold. You are a frozen egg. You were literally frozen. There should not be a level of cold that is a problem for you. Oh, wait. I, okay, I do have a, a house. I completely forgot. I was like, where do I go? I don't have my house anymore. Okay. Breeding farm. Is it because there's a tr Why is there a tree in my floor? Where's she? For a level three woodcutter, you suck. Yeah, he's level three lumbering. Is he just like doing a large amount? No, he's not even doing much damage. Bushi, you suck. At this. You are probably one of the best attackers I've ever encountered, but you suck at, at cutting trees. Here, let me. I I just need to do the work myself. <laughs> Instead of being silly. Three shots. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I guess it is very anime to just like shred a tree with a with a sword. They're probably they're not exactly meant for that, are they? Oh, not that. I do need to get some... I once again need to build a wall out of something. Okay, whatever. Okay, well, I'm not... I don't want this to be outside the place. Like, outside the base, please. That can be in the way of anything. Uh, nah, I'll be fine. Okay, Bushi, you can go back to the, into the uh, box now. Actually, no, I'll keep you out. You're very useful, after all. Unfortunately, I only have one Hell Zephyr. Oh, Frostalion, right. I forgot. Holy shit, I didn't realize how big you are. Nine hundred attack! That's before Ice Emperor is... Wait. Yes, that's before Ice Emperor takes effect. Bushi is, like, really boosted, and he is 856. Okay, Frost Allen is the way to, to, to take out Jetragon. I fully believe that now. Yeah, Bushi's already partially, like, leveled up. Frost Allen has nothing yet. Holy shit, I didn't even... <laughs> Frosting is my, like, is my, like, tank, because he has 4,600 health. 
Frostalian has 13,000. To make him screw everything, he's got to be very big. Wait, why? You. Ideally, you would want to be, like, average or slightly smaller if you're going to screw everyone to, like, accommodate everyone's sizes. Anyways. Rather than talking about dick size, I will start upgrading Rostalian. How much do I want to put into this? Hmm. I'm gonna be just a bit careful. This attack is now over a thousand, wow. Yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. Oh, they're very cool. Okay, Frosty. We are going to... make you a saddle now. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, they're laying. They're they're literally chilling, because they were chilling the fridge. Oh, so that's just what they do. They just curl up when they're freezing things. Oh wow! I didn't realize the different levels of of uh, free of like cooling affect the uh, amount of time that it. It preserves it by. That's amazing. Yeah, cakes are preserved by 800 minutes here. Yeah, they can... This guy was a pain to catch. Like, legendary spheres are the best spheres in the game, and I was only getting 20% with it at, like, almost no health, so... This is certainly a beefy creature. He's my beefcake. Okay. Next. Okay. I didn't actually check how much that just cost me to make to do that, but. Oh well. Hey, 2 a.m. cereal is the best cereal. I mean, what else are you going to eat cereal? <laughs> the morning? Oh. Only weird people eat cereal in the morning. No, I'm just being silly. Seriously, though, I do generally only eat cereal at night, though. <laughs> I'm kind of weird about cereal, I'll admit, like... <sighs> There's, like, very... Very few things that I... For some reason, both cereal and salad dressing, I'm, like, so particular with that I'll only eat, like, one or two different types that I find, and I just can't find anything else that I can even stomach. I mean, I've always liked Cheerios, and there's that uh, oatmeal crisp uh, cereal. There's, like, one or two types of that that I've always loved, and, like, that's basically all the cereal I would ever eat just because of... Uh... Rostelian can fly? What? Oh my god, that's so cool! 
Oh my god, fuck, f fuck Jetragon entirely. This is way cooler. This is so fucking awesome. Cereal salad dressing. <laughs> How fast is Crystal Wings on the ground? Not very. It's better in there. What do we have access to, anyways? Hmm. Lemon Toast Crunch is good, I think. I think I like it. I can't remember. I'm just, like, so ungodly picky. I don't know why, and it just... What's, it's not that I'm picky, it's that my stomach is picky. Because if I eat, if I, like, pick a cereal that my stomach does not like, I will just feel awful. My stomach is, like, really, really sensitive. So I have to be kind of careful sometimes that I make sure that it's approving of whatever the fuck I've picked. Uh, what am I doing? I have no idea what I, why I came here. I need to walk through a doorway. Right! Let's go, fruits! Okay, I want to put something else on Frostallion. Because... I don't really like Iceberg. Icicle Cutter's good, but... Frost Wings are, be are like, is kind of like the better version. I could put Hydro Laser on it. That might actually be a really good option. Because it already has Blizzard Spike and Frost Wings. So it's pretty fucking good. I want to save Solar Blast for when I get a, get a good Lilene. Uh, oh god, implode. <laughs> I'll put Pal Blast on if I wanted. Power Bomb. Hmm. What should I put on it? I'm really, I'm really tempted to do Hydro Laser. I think that actually would be like a really good pick. Wait, Lightning Bolt and Lightning Strike. These are separate. I did what? What the fuck's Lightning Bolt then? If Lightning Strike. Bushi has Lightning Strike. What's Lightning Bolt then? I don't want to just put that on any- that's 150, that must be the max tier, um, that must be the max tier lightning move, then, if it's 150 power. I mean, Hydro Light is also 150 power, and it's the max tier water move. Yeah, I'm gonna- here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put Nightmare Ball and Hydro Laser on him. Crystal Wings, Blizzard Spike, Hydro Laser. That is one fucking hell of a setup. I wonder if it's possible for me to breed the, um... To breed Emperor of the Seas off of Jormantide onto Frostalion, somehow. 
That'd be amazing. Wait, hold on a second. I just realized something. I can't... I can't take the thing away from this place yet, because I need it to finish the eggs. I can't take back the PAL box yet. Yeah, I need to make sure I come back and get the eggs, otherwise it'll just destroy the eggs in the incubators if I do it wrong. What's Stallion good against? Well, I guess he's good against Dragon. I could, like, act legitimately go fight Jetragon now if I wanted. I don't like the fact that I only have one plus two amulet to use. Do I have any other plus twos? I mean, I'd have pen and diligence, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'd really like a ring of uh, dragon resistance. That'd be nice. Actually, I just had a thought. Forget Jetragon for a moment. We just found a dragon recently that we haven't killed yet. The Palgenetic Research Unit people. Oh shit, I've been going over five hours. <laughs> oh, I should definitely be getting off soon. Uh, I want to do one last thing, though. I don't know what, but I want to do one last thing. Okay, that's Lylene. That's Phalaris. That's Shadowbeak. Missing someone. Oh, that's Ozark. So I already done Ozark. Okay. I'm going to take on, uh, I'm going to go and take on, uh, whatever the fuck his name is with Shadowbeak, the new guy we just found. Uh, it would be smart for me to do more prep work. That being said, I'm going in. <laughs> in fact, I could absolutely bring, um, more things with me that would help a lot. Oh god. Ah. Oh, that worked. Okay. Off Frostalian. Let it use its own skills. Yep, it's going to hydro laser. Blizzard spike. 30 seconds in, I've done 10,000 damage. No! No, 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 no! No! Wait, what am I doing? I have to use the assault rifle for this. No, 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 not that. Come here. No, missed. No, 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 move, move, move. I got stuck in the animation.
Ah. Frozen. Ah. My alarm that's that tells me to stop gaming and go to bed is going off. No. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> no! Leave me alone! Oh no! No! Oh fuck, I'm so fucked! <laughs> yep. Okay. That went really well. Like, I yes, I realized that I died. But that went really well. I got 40,000 health down without preparing. If I bring pals that actually boost ice-type damage, I can bring four of those, which can, like, jack up his power a whole lot. And I can better my gear still, too. And I think I can even upgrade Frostallion further than I have so far. So that's good. I, 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 th I can see a very clear path to taking down Shadow Beak now. I could not see that before. That makes me very happy. I'm gonna pump his his attack because he seems fine. Like he's not taking much damage, but not <laughs> attack wise. Attack wise is what's needed. Okay, so that's an extra twelve percent more attack damage he has. Um, I'm going to have food next time, which will give him another twenty percent more attack damage. Uh, here. So he's at fourteen hundred. With the buff. Oh, it didn't look like it changed. Is the buff not incorporating the... Oh, was he already buffed? Oh, he must have eaten automatically. Okay, so he's at 1400 attack. And then if I bring a bunch of foxicles with me as ice boosters... That would be ideal. Does that show up? Yeah. So a single level 2 Foxicle brings it up 100 attack power. So I could, uh, with four level level 2s, so one, four 1 star Foxicles, I could uh, bring its attack up to 1800. Yeah, so that, this is a very clear way for me to take on both Jetragon and Shadowbeak. Well, I'm very excited. And I just, I just want Lylene to be done here. Aw, oh, 28 minutes. Ah. <laughs> ah. But, but I have to end the stream. Ah. But Lylene. Okay. Okay, we've been going almost five and a half hours. I think this is actually my longest stream ever. Or something. I don't know. I've had multiple streams over five hours now, but it, this is in contest for one of my longest. Okay, so for everyone who's here and has been here, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's always nice to talk to people, even if you just stop in to say hi once. Don't care. Just 
just coming by makes me happy. Uh, this VOD will be going up tomorrow on uh, at Black Cat Streams. We'll be having, like usual, we'll be having uh, one video a day going up on uh, Black Cat Studio five days a week. Uh, we've been keeping up that schedule as well, though not everything will be showing up in your box, in your like subscription feed, because YouTube systems are kind of stupid. So you're probably not going to be getting notified of a lot of it, unfortunately. Uh, but, yeah. But I am putting out five episodes, a, a five episodes a week, or five videos a week, whether they be shorts or full-length videos, usually shorts these at the moment. Um, and, yeah, and that hasn't changed, so. If you're ever like, where is, where is all Cat's content? It's there. It's there. YouTube's just stupid. <laughs> Okay, we will be back on Thursday at 2 p.m. PST, uh, 5 p.m. EST. And yeah, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, follow, etc. You know all the things that you can do. Uh, we're 11 followers away on Twitch from being able to be an affiliate, so like, have a subscribers have emoticons, like actual emotes for chat, have channel points. All of that shit happens in 11 followers. Have any friends who you want to get <laughs> to get following me? I certainly would like that. <laughs> uh, it's okay. No pressure. Anyways, thank you all for coming today. And I will see you in two days where we will have a shit ton of Lilines. So... So many Lilines. <laughs>